I got you, B. Yo, what's up, chat? So we're doing mostly fans at the end of the show, but we're also doing mostly fans during the show. So you got a good question for us. Throw your underdog username on there. We will include it during the show. Yeah. Uh, let's hear it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have the whole crew here. Oh! What's up? You throwing a promo up? Oh shoot, I forgot to Trevor, you throwing a show promo up? Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's do it. I forgot. Who starts at 10? Hmm? Don't you just start at 5? Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. What? What? We back again. God is good. Once the show starts, that means the check has arrived. So we here on this lovely Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? I feel it's Wednesday. Yeah, we've been doing so much shit. I don't even know what day it is. I just realized I need to. I gotta. Never mind. <laughs> You said the check. I said, damn. Hey, you got to submit them invoices I did. expeditiously. <laughs> I haven't even turned in my paperwork. No, nah, I do too. <laughs> so we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. Sandy. Miko Grind. Hello. And we got Rashad McCann's back on the couch. You was on the Hi. other couch yesterday, on, on the big couch today. Hey, I got benched. <laughs> <laughs> you got a DMP? <laughs> Not performing up to par, I guess. I gotta no, no, you, you had a couple down. words. You got in a couple games. You couple, I mean? couple minutes. Yeah, couple fucked minutes. up yeah. my average, dog. <laughs> fucked up, fucked up, up average. my average. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was smoking <laughs> niggas for a second there, niggas. I'm down a little bit. <laughs> it still counts. <laughs> <laughs> still counts. Pierce fee. Invoice still submitted. Yep. You already know. Feel you. So here's what we got cracking today. We got some beef brewing between Paul George and Devin Booker. Mm. And PG said he's gonna be on his bully shit, but what does that really mean? Uh, does the star player on a team need to be the leader? And what's more important, being vocal or leading by example? And do coaches get too much credit for a team's success? But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the app. Use promo code Gills Arena. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You got WNBA cracking right now. College football about to start. NFL about to start. It's a ton of things to get in. They got best ball too, but I don't know about that shit, so I ain't going to lie to y'all and tell y'all how to do all that. What sport? It's called best ball. What's that? That's like their main shit. Yeah, I, ain't, I, I think I've seen it, but I ain't. I, I'm good at picking <laughs> yeah, yeah. higher or lower. I'm killing WNBA. Asia killed me last night, <laughs> man. She, she killed me. Man. Oh, it was her birthday today, right? Was like, yeah. She 28. Happy birthday, Asia. last night. I picked under on that. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> they and blasted their ass, too. Uh, uh. We said it before the show, but as always, we, we do mostly fans at the end of the show. We're also going to incorporate mostly fans into the actual show. So go ahead, drop a good question. Make sure you include your underdog username. And if we use your question, that's $50 bonus that comes to your account 
so you can keep doing these pickups, keep helping underdog thrive in the fantasy space where they abide by all rules and regulations. <laughs> Just got to throw that out there. And if you can't watch the show live with us, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple. Help us jump up. we top 10. I think we top five or six, but we need to get to number one. Let's push, you know, PG and them out, go, on off the go. paint. Yeah. Hey, listen, we can do that if we turn, like, only fans into, if we turn mostly fans into, like, mostly <laughs> Gills Arena Uncut. You want some strippers in here? Huh? You want some strippers in here or something? No, nah, we can have them call in. Strippers? Yeah. With that, thanks, Mel. Like, yeah, they start throwing it, and I can throw my money right here, and then when they off, I can pick my money back up. But you see how the, you see what happened when they be calling in your shit. You got the random ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> you be having we some, need. You be having oh. some random yeah, among us, man. I had like seven or eight of my friends call in with questions, and you didn't answer them. You ducked the fades. Mm. I don't know. Maybe they didn't call in. Maybe they lied to you. We, we got a, a special one from the chat. They said, <laughs> Miko thicker than racial tension in America. They said that's what? They said, Miko thicker than racial tension in America. Now, that's I'm a, thick. A compliment of oh. all compliments. <laughs> I've never been called thick before. Thank you. <laughs> the chat showing love. The chat yeah. is showing love. Yeah. So before we get into the basketball stuff, we got to talk about one of the bigger moments in black history that happened this weekend. Uh, oh, yes. We saw teamwork makes the dream work. After a co-captain of Riverboat Montgomery was jumped by some unruly Caucasians, <laughs> I call them thugs, some thuggery, Absolutely. who some refused to move their pontoon boat parked on the dock. So after being down in the first half, his crew had his back and pulled off the comeback, lighting them things up. We seen chairs cheering. We seen, you know, oh. dude get yes. his Michael B. Phelps on. Oh, Swim yeah. from the boat to the action. I don't think I've ever seen that in a fight before. <laughs> Michael so B. Lit. Phelps. <laughs> they called him Aquaman, yeah. Michael Great B. Phelps. technique and everything. <laughs> he got uh, across there fast. Snoop Doggy Dog Paddle. They had all, I mean, they had the, the oh, names, Lauren. What but the fuck? Black Twitter did his thing to honor this momentous occasion. So let's take a look at some of, you know. You know, we never know what's going to happen, but we see... You know, shit just got real. It looks like <laughs> they hit him with the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> A chair. Then we got the chair. That chair was invented by a black man. It was. Yeah. Yes. And you know they had to come with it. But hey, yeah. So white people got uh, tea torches. We got uh. Chairs. We got, we got the, yeah. We got the barbecue chairs. Barbecue. Barbecue chair. picnic chairs. Out. There we go. Down. Okay, I see Hold it. Up chair. Oh, they also man. called him Shaquille O'Gills. I mean, it had a bunch of a good names. <laughs> Damn. Name. But we are a basketball show, so we take everything that happens in pop culture and we correlate it to basketball. So Gil, I'm gonna start with you. What's the best comeback that you've been a part of? Uh, I would say in the playoffs, down 0-2 to Chicago Bulls, and we thought, you know, our playoff series was over, and we came back, and I don't know if it's called a gentleman sweep, but we went 4-0 after that, and went to the mm -hmm. second round. You was down 0-2, and then you won 4? Yep. Well, that's, what is that? That's not a... It's called a comeback. Yeah, that's it. That's I'm just it. saying, it's but y'all swept those four games. Yeah. But you tricked off the first two. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or two. Miko, how about yourself? I, you wouldn't, nobody would know. It's, yeah. I got it. You're right. Mm. Overseas stuff. <laughs> <laughs> International stuff. I was, I, my first uh, game, actually, in Istanbul, I had flown in, um, and they were like, oh, you're not going to play today. Like, you just flew in, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this team we were playing against was real good or whatever. And I was like, really wanted to play, really wanted to play. And I'm just sitting there. I did the whole warm up the pregame thing, but I didn't play, want to play in the game. And they ended up putting me in the game. We was, we was getting smacked. I think I had 35 okay. first day there. Did y'all win? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was so high. And then it hit me after all the jet lag, like everything hit me like later that night. I was so tired. I slept almost a whole day. Mm. Mm. But it was lit. Mm. 2K tourney. <laughs> where, where I got all my greatness information from, you know, I was considered the greatest ever because went into the crib with Jackie Long, bunch of guys that, you know, like to play 2K. Mm -hmm. Thinking they hot shit. And I was the AC. They ain't really want me to play because, oh, you play for real. You can't play. And I swept the whole goddamn house, came back and won the whole shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the was it for money? Don't nobody move but me and the money. <laughs> Don't nobody move with me and the money. You know what I'm saying? What about on the court? On the court? I ain't never really had to come back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never really had to come back. When it comes to that, you know what I'm saying? We try to stay up as much as possible. I ain't gonna talk about Timberwolves shit, but you know, that's a whole different story. Dwayne Casey. Dwayne Casey. Yeah. 
<laughs> we was down, we was down. There wasn't no coming back. Mad <laughs> Dog shooting threes. Yeah, you know, he wasn't coming back from shit. If Mad Dog taking eight threes in the game. God damn. So we talk about the positive, but we got to address the negative too, Gil. What's the worst comeback that you're on the wrong, wrong side of? Ooh. Well, I was winning and I lost? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do I care? I lost. You <laughs> lost. I lost. I don't. I, I had one in tennis. That. I had one in tennis, not as a pro, but in tennis. I, you know, so you had to win two sets out of three, and we whooped this, t- this these girls in the first match. It was doubles, and then they came back and beat us the second and the third set like donut, like a bagel. Like it was my first time getting a bagel, and it was it hurt my feelings real bad. It's like when you beat somebody in the first set like that, you think like, oh, I'm about to beat them in the second set. It's nothing, and then to lose both sets, I was. So you, so hold on, you're not good at. Golf nor tennis. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm just checking. Mm. I mean, I mean, you're throwing out your resume, I'm, and I'm starting to question. I've asked Talk you for about the it, girl. Day. I've asked you for the Talk tennis. Talk about when it, girl. When are you ready for it? Are you ready yet? Do you need to practice? What do you I don't need? need to practice what? For tennis. No, just hit the say ball over the net. So you, you ready for that yeah. fight? Bet. Say less. Just hit the ball over the net. Say less. It was, uh, say less. It was uh, Celtics when KG, I had just went over to the Celtics for the big trade with Al Jefferson. Okay. And uh, Corey Brewer was our rook, so Randy Whitman didn't fuck with me like that. So I remember him putting Rand, uh, Corey Brewer in the game. We was up maybe like 10. And I kept looking over like, okay, this is what we on, right? <laughs> I hope we lose this motherfucking game. Go find a way to lose this shit. And motherfuckers, Ray Allen, three, three, steal. KG, dunk, come down, down one. Four seconds left. Ray Allen, three. Game over. <laughs> I said, yes, let's go to the locker room. <laughs> yes, let's go to the locker room. I fucking told y'all ass. I put fucking Corey Brewer in. And he threw the steal at the last time. He inbound the ball for the last steal for the three. Mm. I'm like, yeah, don't put no goddamn rookie in the game and do no shit like that. It's a cold world. Cold world. Fucker. So for all you basketball heads out there, largest comeback in NBA history was January 2022. Clippers came back from down 35 to the Wizards. To win that game. 35? Jeez. Damn. Mm. And speaking of Clippers, <sighs> here we go. Let's go. Clay Thompson made an appearance on Paul George podcast this week. Was asked about the incident last season when he got into it with Devin Booker and got ejected. Yeah, I was in my feelings though. And Book was busting my <laughs> that day. I was not where I needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, stuff doesn't age well, and that didn't age well for yeah. me. Like, I don't need to be flexing four rings, bro. Like, everybody know that. That's on Wikipedia. My game wasn't where I was at. And we all get insecure at times. I may have to admit that we all have our moments of weakness. So I'm not really proud of that one. Wow. But Clay went on to say that, that, that you know, he respects Booker. He put in a lot of work, deal with a lot of regime changes with the Suns early on in his career, and was happy to see him flourishing now in this environment. So, but what are your thoughts on Clay admitting that he was in his feelings for getting Man, that? where's Bud like Clay? Yeah. Where the Bud like Clay at? I thought it was nice. It's cool, but... It's you, the off season. You can say stuff like that. I get it, but what, what am I winning full rings for if I can't flex them on you? Mm. Well, mm. I think it was more about like, like him saying like he wasn't playing good, so he flexed it. It was kind of like a... I, like, I'm not having a good game, so I'm going to use it. It's different if somebody come at you talking shit and you just go... Like, shut up, nigga. I'm cooking y'all, too. Ah. And I got four rings. Like, when you go there, it's like... Yeah, you... Yeah. You losing, a, you losing the, the, the battle or the fight or the argument, and then that's, like, the only thing you got. Like, it's kind of weak. Only thing? There's four of them. Yeah, th- but that's it. You win in a game. Okay, but it was still weak. And he admit that. There's mm. nothing wrong with that. Come on now. So we can't flex... So, so what happened is we can't flex money. Right? We can't Everybody flex got rings. The money, though. We can't flex like if we lose and I got 50. I can't flex that. So can, what, what, can, what can we flex? flex? That. You can flex that. What? Like if you're, if you're winning. No, we're losing. And you have and 50. I got 50. No, I can't, can't flex, flex that. that. But you get to flex with your you little 10. You can't flex 50 in a loss? But you get to no. flex your little 10 ass points I winning a little game. game. All right. They lost. I did my job. <laughs> like Booker can't flex his 72 after he lost to Boston. I mean later on, but nah. during the moment. As soon as the game's over no. with. On Instagram. Who y'all? <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> What's that, and yeah, you can't you and you can't take it back. <clears throat> can't take that back. Cause I'm, I'm booked. I'm like, no, 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 no. Keep that energy, Clay. Please don't retract that statement. I remember those four. Cause every time I see your ass, I'm trying to get 71. Every time. Cause them rings do matter. Cause remember when Book was looking up at the confetti? He's like, fuck. We 
almost got them niggas. Mm -hmm. Clay like. Got your ass. <laughs> but you're like you ass. said, if you got four rings, Why I feel you, like that's, yeah. unless somebody got five, that's, that's the argument in there. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. When, when can you use it? What's the point of having them then? Even if you're getting cooked. And Miko knows. She, you throw them low blows all the damn time. What you, low blows? All the damn time. So you know about using ammunition. I mean, I didn't say, I, I said it was it was like dope that he like, it said like, yeah, that was a low blow. Like I shouldn't even. But how's that a low blow? That ain't a low blow. Yeah, how's like that a low said, blow? It's on the Wikipedia. Like it's not. Yeah, that. go to Wikipedia. Then go to Wikipedia. It's not that. It's not. Go that. to Wikipedia. Hey, what's that? <laughs> like you said, you got to be able to use, you got to be able to use it. Yeah, yeah, 10 one. No like, look, Google. If I beat a nigga 10-1, <laughs> ain't nothing a nigga can do until he beat me, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to flex it until I can't no more. Yeah. I'm going to flex it until I can't. Don't all even right. matter. I, all I said was it was it was nice for him to say, like, yeah, that, I shouldn't have used that. It, like, come on. You don't need to use that. He's clay. Talk, like, he's clay. You don't have to use that. <sighs> yeah. Deal. Yeah, I'm with you. And that's a team accomplishment anyway. Who has more? They was talking shit to each other. And he was not having a good game. So he went to a team accomplishment to win the debate as opposed to individual. Who has the better individual stats? He does. He should have okay. went with that. Okay. He should have been like, yeah, I'm not playing good today. Bro. Next time, just Google me. How Google me. Google me. <laughs> That's the shirt. Google. Google me. Google me, nigga. You saying Clay got better individual stats than Booker? Booker? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, Booker has a 72. You know, Clay got more records. Yeah. He, yeah, that's fair. Wait, Clay got more well, well, broken years, individual. Years, no, I'm yeah. just saying individual records. Yeah, he has more individual yeah. records. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good flex, man. It's a good flex. I'm not mad at it. I ain't mad at it either. Hold on, I'm just doing some. When you can do some I shit, like flex, flex. flex that shit, nigga. Clay can't guard. I'm talking about individual because I know he, let alone he broke like four of my individual records, so I know. Mm. Are you still salty about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same person? Which ones? Yeah. Which ones? Overtime. What was that record, though? Uh, 16. 16 points in overtime? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he got that. You mad as hell, huh? And then he got most points less than 30, 30 minutes. 30, less than 30 minutes. What was that? It was 46. Get the fuck out of here. Got 60. Oof. Now he, yeah, it was not. He smacked yeah. that. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he done smacked it. Kicked that shit across the field. I didn't know you had that record. Dang. Yeah, he's light skinned yeah. man. He light skinned be. beef, man. We got to I mean, bring light skinned beef. I took that from Larry Bird, too. How many threes you had in one game? Mm -hmm. Seven? Probably seven or eight. I don't know. I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> we already starting. I am nobody, though. I, you know, I try to get my shit in there when I could get my shit in there. Goddamn. You said eight threes? Who? Yeah, okay, eight threes against the Lakers back in 2004. Ooh, oh, four. This early. This early. This early Gil. This not even a sixty pointer Gil. Ooh. You wasn't even at him yet. I wasn't him yet. I went back and watched that sixty point game last night. I was cracking that. Oh, yeah, it was just a normal game, right? I almost yeah, did. For sure. <laughs> but that was an you example. Got on a Tuesday. That was an example of the Princeton yeah. office, though. Like that was you not having to put the ball on the floor too much, nigga. Just mm -hmm. ah, 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 come that here. Was, yeah, I was a couple. It was a couple of games of yours that we were, we were going to watch and, uh, last night. I had put the TV on outside, but. Yeah, too drunk. <laughs> so what's the pettiest thing you've ever done while you were getting cooked? While I was getting cooked? The hibachi has got hibachi before. Mm. You got to go to someone else first. I got to think. <laughs> the most pettiest thing I've done? Like Petty. hurled an insult. Talked about somebody's family or their significant other. No, did something petty Can't think of in college. I, um, I hollered at this girl's man after the game. You said what? I hollered at this girl's man after the game. She had, she had a better game than me. I was upset. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> this went from um, mostly fans to only fans real quick. Now, I was playing one of our rivals, uh, Cal Poly Pomona, and um, the guys, you know, the guys play after us. And so I didn't have a good game. She was balling or whatever. She got the best of me. And her dude was, you know, trying to holler in the stands. And I normally wouldn't do that, but I did. I gave him my phone number just to be petty. <sighs> Can you imagine <laughs> cooking a nigga so bad that he wants to holler at your work? <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it communal work though? It's not. Not at the time. <laughs> not at the time, right? No one knows this work, right? It's just like, and then you go out to the game, you're in the back, and the nigga you just cooked is in her ear, like, yeah. That's <laughs> a different type of. What, what are y'all doing after games, bro? Y'all talk to people? Yes, we sit in the stands and watch. I mean, the girls play first, so the men play, play afterwards. It's high school? College. College? Yes. yes. Wait, what? Yes. I went to Cal State LA. Is that community? Division two. That's oh. a violation. Yeah, that's, that's a violation. Well, that's I don't a great, know. That's a violation. That's a great what university. I've never, seen, I've never been in a gym where the girls play before or after. Yeah, we do. All I'm season. in Arizona, so I don't, I don't know what happens after that. You know what I mean? It's, you know, yeah, girls they're, have their own. They, yeah, they did they their have their own, own gym? Yeah, they got their own. They're yeah, cross campus, actually. They girls even. played in the same gym as the men. The, one, the girls? One gym, yes. One gym. Okay. Yeah, yes. so they got two gyms. Y'all yeah, balling over there. NBA? Yeah, wait, yeah, NBA, you, when did you see people? After the game? Oh, I'm saying, can you imagine oh. somebody that you cook? Like, imagine... Yeah, nah, man. Somebody in your girl's ear, like, yo, he just cooked me, but I'm about to get back at you. I'm sorry, by the time I left the gym, there was nobody there. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Well, I ain't really get to talk to No stragglers? Nah. They weren't dedicated back then, good. Lazy. And she got to be some lazy work to just be talking to the nigga I just cooked. Like, she got to be second tier work. <laughs> <laughs> so he was work. Huh? Huh? Or he was working that. I think we just missed what she said. <laughs> no, we didn't. She, she was getting cooked. Got she was getting cooked. Just ho tried to yeah, holler. Yes. That's why I said, can you imagine I mean, cooking in this? He did gave me a little eye, whatever. But I'm did she I, flex her win on you? Huh? Did she flex her win? In the game, yeah. She mm. was talking shit. She, she was, was talking fat, too much? She was fat mouthing me in the game. Oh, well, that's, yeah, I had that's a bad it. game. Our I had a bad role. game. Did you bag the work? I got his phone up. I mean, we hung out, but nah, he didn't. I didn't close the deal. No. Cap. No. Cap. You ain't go through all that now. You ain't do all of this. He's trying to like the redo it now. I had, do all no, of that. I, had, nothing. I, had, I already had a boyfriend and a side dude. I didn't even need an oh, extra no. one. <laughs> Uh, need another one. I just wanted. Gills Arena I, every day. I just wanted her to closer. see it. I just wanted her to see me talking to him and get. Back then we had beepers, so we didn't have cell phones. You had to write your phone number down. I just wanted her to see me writing my number for him. She saw it. She got mad. But you remember yeah. her cooking that ass though. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the middle of the off season. We are one day closer to getting canceled. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. We know y'all don't got shit else to do. <laughs> don't lie. You ain't got shit to do but watch Gil's Arena shame. presented by Underdog Fantasy. I ain't ashamed to admit it. But let's, we talk about trash talk. For you as players, what, if anything, is off limits on the court? You know, Is it referencing a particular brand of cereal? I mean, what kind of things are, are off limits? <laughs> <laughs> like... Stop it, Joe. You know what I'm saying? God damn. I'm just ah. like, what is off no, limits? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. On the court? Nothing. What if it's a trash cereal, though? No. Like nothing. Cookie Crisp, I can't even be mad. Nothing. Like, if, you good, up, if you good at talking shit, nothing's off limits. Nothing, I, nothing gets under your skin, Gil? Under mine? I'm saying if somebody, a player was talking shit to you, has anybody gotten under your skin on the court? Like talking trash, no. Really? Mm. And no problem. That turns me up. <clears throat> Because um, obviously, if it's a trash talker, he's a defensive player and he gets that work. Mm -hmm. um, Have you ever shut anybody up during the game? Like they were talking big hundreds. shit? <laughs> hundreds. I, I think there's a stat out there, and I think I can, like, it's bragging rights. I got, like, bragging rights. Like, when you talk about the elite defenders, Kobe, Jordan, Gary Payton, all first team, I think that I'm holding, like, a 40. 40 something plus on those guys. <laughs> Points per game? Points per game. Like Jordan gave him 41, Kobe 60, Gary Payton 46, Larry Hughes 46. Like there's some elite shit going on with anybody who was called the first team all defensive player. They got that, they got that work. The work. <laughs> when you Only person that stopped me defensively was, it was, it was this uh, number 80, it was like 87. 86. Referees. They go by refs. <laughs> like, it's like his name was Joy Crawford. Yeah, that, that was the only, that's the only motherfucker who stopped me. And yeah, that motherfucker that play. <laughs> he played great defense. Yeah. I'm gonna lock your ass up tonight, Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, so Mika, for you, any, any, anything that's um, off limits? Uh, hard R. That, that's, that's off limits for me. I, I usually... Oh, you don't say it? No, it's said to me. I, I react. 
Somebody says that to you in the game? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Tennis and basketball. Really? Oh, yeah. You, you, you easy to beat. Yeah, easy. So easy. <laughs> no, not to beat. Love you it. easy to beat. Just, just throw out the N-word. You done. You mentally gone. Mm. Not done. Not mentally no, gone. First, I, I'll have my whole bench. Just boop. No. Say it. I'm, I'm not Say gone. it loud. Say it loud and proud. <laughs> proud. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely going to react. But I'm not, I've never been kicked out of a game. Never in my life. So you were struggling in Boston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to react. I'm a, you know, I'm not going to get kicked out, but I'm going to react. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they're gonna keep Any, going. Anything for you? So, no. Oh, Whatever you want. I love it. What's man. the wildest shit somebody said to y'all on the court <sighs> that you were like, damn, if we were in the streets, I'd have to fight you for this shit, but we're playing the game, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maintain my composure. Nah, it ain't never been nothing like crazy. I remember like I was hooping against the Knicks at home. I think I had like 20. This was when they had Jamal, uh, Steve Francis, uh, Jalen Rose, all of them, they, they, they were stacked. Isaiah Thomas was the coach, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Let it be known. <laughs> he sent, I can't remember the uh, the guy he sent in to foul and just be like, hey man, you got to shut this little nigga up. And I remember Jalen Rose and Steve Francis was like, hey man, listen, your ass Marty is Williams? trash. Who? Was it Marty Williams? Marty? No, nope, it was one? number 23. Oh. Uh, I can't remember his name though. It's light skinned dude, big dude. And that wasn't my, I know you're talking about mm -hmm. Monty Collins. Monty you're talking Collins. about Collins. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they, he just, him and Steve Francis was going at me, like, just talking nasty, like, you trash, bro. What the fuck is you, what is you out here talking like, I got 20 on y'all in the, in the second, in the first half. What you mean? He's like, man. And I remember I was on the free throw line, and nigga bowed me right in my mouth. Who bowed you? I can't remember his fucking name Where's at all. Like, me? Yeah, yeah, but it was one of them that was. Is it Marcus Camby? No, it wasn't. Camby, I don't think, was on the team at the time. Um, but research is, is fast at work. We're going we go, we go to find him. We're going to bring him into the arena. It wasn't Mar Marcus Fires or none of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, light skin, though. Big dude. What'd you do? He played for the Clippers, too. What'd you do when it happened? Chad, help us. Nah, play. I was just smiling. I was laughing. Who is it? Q Rich? No, it wasn't no, Q Rich. No, he ain't light skin. Number 23, whoever. I can't remember. That would have been like the 2005 six team. It's not Chris Mills, but it was. Uh, what, what did you do, though? Uh. Nah, I was just I was just hooping and I was just talking shit like, man, I'm busting y'all ass tonight. What's up? It's like they was just looking at me like, who is this nigga? Who is this nigga talking? And hey, it just is what it is. They said Jeffrey. It's been 2006, 2017. I'm talking about when yeah. he hit you in the mouth. No, 2008. It was 2008. When he hit we, you in the mouth, what did you do though? Everybody saying Jerry Jeffrey. I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. They searching for it. Taylor. Taylor. Maurice Taylor? Maurice Taylor. Mo oh, Taylor? Mo Taylor. Mo Taylor. Big Mo Taylor checked in. And Mo Taylor's <laughs> in? Oh. Yeah, he was with the, the Knicks then. Elbowed me and right in my motherfucking mouth. Yeah. He's big, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't want to fuck with him. So, like, Clay admitting, obviously, he lost his cool when he probably shouldn't have. Was there ever a point in the game where you regretted losing your cool? In the game? Yeah, I remember. It was, uh, it was in Miami. It was the day I met my mother. Well, I didn't meet her at that point in time, but... Uh, we were in Miami, we were in warm-up lines, and I hear my name being called. And I'm like, damn, hoes never called my name before. So I'm hearing, like, ladies like, oh, hey. And then two ladies, I'm like, hey. And then I can just see it. She's like, I'm your mother. Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then all the emotions. Um, I remember, like, emo what'd you, just. What did you do? I threw my uh, head. I, I Hell no. Oh. I, got a, I, got, I thought I got fouled. And the referee's looking at me, and I just took my head, man, off and just straight to the face. Bah! To whose face? It could have been Eric. Really? It was skinny black dude. It could have been Eric. And I got kicked out of the game, sent, sent, home, sent, sent to the locker room. Mm -hmm. And you did that because your mother was there? Just the emotions. Oh. Did you talk to her after? Yeah, five minutes. And that was it? That was it. Nothing since? Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, but I'm talking about after that. You never no. talked to her again? Mm -mm. Damn. <clears throat> wow. But yeah, that was the, the one time. Mm -hmm. Damn, that, that, call, that almost like, I got a little emotional. Here. Oh, that's our show. Here y'all go. What How'd you feel in that moment, though? I mean, on, on a serious note. I was mad I got kicked out because I was cooking. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> in my back. Why'd you get emotional? If you only want to speak to her for five minutes and then never again. Okay, because, okay. All right, since you want to keep asking questions. Yeah, I mean, we, um, we talking. As, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a kid, I always kept getting fights, you know, mama jokes. And my dad was like, why do you keep fighting over somebody you actually don't know? Mm -hmm. Right? So 
I remember in, I used to sit in the mirror and say, God, if you can get me to the NBA, I'll never do drugs or any of that stuff. I just want to meet my mom. I'll never ask her any questions, just give me the opportunity to meet her. Mm -hmm. And then we played in Miami, and then that was the opportunity. As much as I wanted to ask her a question, I thought about the promise I made as a little child and just wow. gave her the hug and kept it moving. She never tried to reach out again or nothing? Listen. Listen. Or, I'm sorry. I was, I was raised by a dude, right? So we don't do all the cinema. We don't do none of that. Oh, God. You guys so, are doing I, I, no, I gave my dad I hope you're not teaching your sons that they that I'm 19, this What I'm saying is I'm 19 years okay. old at this point. So. Oh, okay, it's okay. early in your career. Yeah, I'm 19. This is also covered in that, that Anscape article that Chris Palmer just dropped on you, a lot mm -hmm. of your pops. Oh. Very good. I was a little disappointed yeah, yeah. I didn't get more quotes in it, but... That's between me and Chris Palmer. <laughs> we sat on this couch getting all type of info and dirt on your ass, Gil. He didn't use none of it. Chris, Chris, my guy. Chris, you gave him dirt. Yeah, yeah. You gave him dirt. He didn't use it. You know, whatever. Damn. It was, it was my cry for help. I had to take my headband off and throw it. Nah, Gil, <laughs> Gil. Nah, I'm just kidding. But great article, man. Just talking about you, your pops, your son, and kind of that that, that lineage, that legacy. Man, shit. Man, you know shit. me. Man, shit. Yeah. Hey, pack them goddamn emotions up. <laughs> shit in the back. Nigga, mm -hmm. you better not let me see you fucking cry. Don't mm -hmm. men You better cry. not let me see men you cry. goddamn men can cry. cry. Niggas can cry. It's Pack okay that for men shit to up, cry. Pack nigga. It up. Fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> you better go in the closet and close that goddamn door and sniffle. Fuck it off, nigga. I'm going to punch you in your chest, nigga. Man, let's get back into light skin yeah, and chat. Yeah, let's chats. get back. <laughs> we got, you got real light skin in that, that last couple minutes, man. I appreciate it. Did you see this? I didn't. No, it didn't. That shit made shit. You broke their a little bit. I'm like, yeah. Met your mom for the first time? Hmm. Oh, shit. I was, was, like, I was like, what's happening? I was light skin. Uh, nice meeting you. Yeah, how you I doing? I was light skin. Have you moving? I sit down. So, the shit? Let's talk a little bit. So, Clay made that comment on the situation. Uh, D Book saw it. Thinks saw it on IG. Got into his feelings a little bit. So, he commented on the video and appeared to have issue with uh, PG baiting Clay with that question. So, he gave, the, uh, he gave Clay, Clay the salute. Mm -hmm. Then asked PG, is that the answer you was looking for? Mm. So. What did he say something back? PG addressed Booker's comments on a, well, Call of Duty live stream. I'm an old school. That's what he was playing. <laughs> he was playing live, he was playing Call of Duty. I stopped the Grand Theft Auto, yeah. but. <laughs> Vice City, we was killing it. Uh, but. Uh, Vice City, hey. That was it, though. Yeah. And then I retired. I had to go <laughs> become a, a family man. But uh, so PG commented on a, on a Call of Duty live stream about Booker's comments. My thoughts on Booker's comments. I mean, he didn't really say nothing other than that's, is that what you wanted to hear? Um, I don't really care. That's Clay's answer. You know what I mean? That's Clay's answer. I asked a question, Clay gave his response. That's Clay's answer. <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Sorry ass response. Oh. Woo! He threw that out there. Wow. Let it be known. This shit going on in the background too. It's the funny. That's the best part of the whole thing. Shut up! <laughs> this ass shut up! Man. Just like a clipper. <laughs> oh shit! You can't be taking L's, man, by getting, giving responses. So Booker and PG do have a little history. A few years ago, they got into it during a regular season game. I think Booker called PG soft. May have been more than that. Mm. Couldn't confirm the audio. And then they exchanged shoves during the playoffs later that year. I think game four in particular kind of went back and forth with John. So question for you, Gil, is this just some standard light skin injury or was Booker justified for coming at PG? Um, I mean, I can see where Booker's coming from. You know, like, what were you looking for? Like, you asked him the question for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like, are you happy with the answer? Because what were you looking for? I, I get it. But, um, you know, just like Paul said, it's, you know, that it's, it's Clay's answer. I'm just asking questions, right? And I can ask you, and whatever just, I get out of it, I get out of it. Did you guys see something wrong with the question? You think he was, like, trying to bait him, or he thought he was going to hear something else? So he asked him trash talk-related question, like a broad question, then shifted into that for, but, I mean, that's probably the most pertinent Clay thing. Yeah, what was wrong with it, is what I want to know. I don't no. think anything. Well, well, you know you got beef with a nigga. Yeah, but... And then you... But it's not like he reached. It wasn't like a, a, a trash talk moment that didn't go viral. You know what I mean? It was a big, 
Yeah, moment. For sure. If it was something small nobody ever heard about, and you just reaching, mm -hmm. trying to instigate something, that was a big moment. If you're talking about trash talking, I could see why he brought it up. It's just a question. You're interviewing somebody. There's a lot of questions you can ask, my nigga. <laughs> a lot of questions to ask, and you're going to pinpoint that one. All right. Is that the answer you was looking for? Now, when I see your ass, what's up? What's up? It ain't going to be nothing. What's up? No, I'm talking about as far as hoop. Oh. As far as who? Yeah, we don't, man, listen, as far as who? We ain't, fighting we ain't in the NBA, fighting. like, it, it's, yeah. it's, it, it costs too much. Absolutely. This ain't the 80s where you can slap a nigga and it's $500. Mm -hmm. That's 500000 for some folks, right? So, you know, we just need game to jaw jack. Game checks. Game checks. Yes. You miss a game. Some people getting paid 400000 a game. Yeah. No, I'm not punting. They ain't, listen, I don't hate nobody that much for 400000 <laughs> Right? Can y'all bro? I don't like it. I don't hate you that much. You know, I mean, you know, catch you in the streets. Maybe I'll sympathetic. <laughs> Can y'all fight in the offseason? Would you get fined for that? Probably. Yeah. If it's if it's fight was, club, nigga, no. Nah, if it was some news, if something happened, people got arrested, yeah. But what if you just well, did it in the basement? You just had caught a fay and it wasn't on it, didn't nobody get arrested. The hell Can you they do well, anything? First of all, what are you telling me on a basketball court that I need to catch a fade for? Right. Ain't nothing that's done on know. the court that bad. That ain't well, not I some mean some people get emotional. You know? Then there's a problem with you. Right. Yeah. We just witnessed somebody emotional in Seattle acting like that. Like some no, people don't man, know how to You gotta go talk things. to your mom. That's you gotta problem. go talk to your mom. You gotta go talk to your mom. Some people don't know how to take things. Go talk to your mom. Mommy issues. That's Yeah, mommy. That's mommy shit. Go talk to moms. How would you grade this B? F. Me, tube yeah. steak? F. Bottom round? It's, it's small. Yeah, because PG's like, that's a sorry ass response. And Book just like, you know, is that what you was looking for? Is there, a, is there a Dollar Tree store still? <laughs> they got Dollar They're Tree. They're changing the prices now. What is it? I, they haven't said yet, but they just made an announcement like last week that is no Two Dollar Tree. Be a dollar. Do Dollar Tree meat. That's what that is. Ooh, that's Ooh. meat in Dollar Tree? Ooh, I don't know. I've never been there. I've been in Dollar Tree. There's no meat in there. I mean, I see this shit when I'm riding by, like thrift store and shit I've like that. I've never seen meat actually in the Dollar Tree. I've I'm taken my son shopping in Dollar Tree a lot. You can, you can really make a kid happy in Dollar Tree, let me tell you. I mean, <laughs> But I've never right. seen meat. I've you never get $100, seen you're going there poor. Right, you, he's Christmas so crazy. <laughs> my son, I give him a $10 bill, he's going to go crazy in Dollar Tree. We need to bump your pay up because you've... How old is your son? He's now 12. Not This ain't now. Oh, okay, just checking. It's 12. Shut up. <laughs> and a nine cents to that. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. <laughs> so it, it should be noted PG is 11 and 4 uh, versus Booker in the regular season. But Booker and the Suns beat him in 2021, beat him this season too. PG didn't play. Mm. Also, the Clippers Book average 30.7. Mm. So, but on that same live stream, PG also made this proclamation. I'm on my bully shit. Hey, chat. Mark my words. I'm on my bully shit next season. There's a new. Oh, there's a new Call of Duty coming out. Bully. <laughs> bully shit. <laughs> bully shit. Call of Duty. I don't know. Is it, oh, I'm. Wait, is it video game or wait the basketball? He's talking about basketball. Oh. Yeah, Everything good. Dissect what is, that a what is the bit. difference between? Yeah. Your regular game and bully shit. Like, what's the difference? Just you the, guys you, just the it style to me? you play. Like what? Like go to hell ball where you don't pass it or something? Nah, just more of aggressive style, tacking more. Um, why wouldn't you always like be doing like that? Like it's bully style right there. So, but question: um, Why wouldn't you always just be on your bully? Yeah, shit? why? Why wouldn't she be? Like, there's this, there's a misconception with Paul George. Um, I don't think we realize how handicapped his summers were. Summers were, right? You remember he had Injuries. shoulder surgery, had shoulder surgery. Now, if you're taking shoulder surgery, right, you're not actually working on your game, mm -hmm. right? And he's coming to the season, so you're going into, a, like, he's went into summers where he actually didn't have, he didn't get the workout mm -hmm. for lots of, like, two, three, four summers in a row where he didn't really get to actually work on his game. So, you know, this might be his first healthy summer where he get to actually tap into, you know, getting better. Like, for the most part, like, him and Kawhi, like, you know, you're spending your summer rehabbing versus getting better, so he might be on some different shit. Mm. You know, we can't put it past him. Like, you know, when we thought about, like, yo, he's having a bad year, and we think, like, wait, hold on, he just had two, two shoulder surgeries. When did he get to work out? Those are, those are all summer injuries. I think his bully shit that he referring to is getting back to number 24 when he mm. won the Pacers. I think that was 
PG yeah, and he's his never bully been, bag. Yeah. Because he was he was at UCLA. I remember that summer 2012, 2013, before he got the extension. Yeah. You know, he used to be on real bully shit, like going at niggas. You know what I'm saying? That was the series when he dunked on Birdman. Yeah. That was aggressive PG. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that he trying to get back to that mentality where it don't matter who in my way, I'm at you. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to prove something now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I think it might be a little too late. But I, so I was going to say, can he can he have this bully mentality at this stage of his career? You say, how old is he? You saying it's too late? I think so. Hmm. Oh, come on, man. He good. He gonna be. He gonna be on that rah rah. Mm, but you know, when you have a lot of surgeries, it adds you know years to your body. No, you got a lot of other players on your team that uh, are you gonna get the ball and. Needs, it's team ball now at this point in your career. It ain't no, like, your bully shit's going to come in spurts and moments, but it ain't going to be enough where you can really, like, take over the game on bully shit. So it's going to have to happen against, like, a book. Like, on, when I match up with book, I'm on my bully shit. Well, I mean, well, he played 56 games last season, averaged 24, 6, and 5. How I many free throws? Free throws... He only five five point three attempts a game, which is pretty in line. Yeah, that's that's horrible. So like, let's say he averages twenty four, but he averaging ten free throws a game. He's on his bully shit. Absolutely. That would that mean? Yeah. Just drawing yeah. fouls, drawing going to the fouls, getting to that basket, just being aggressive, not settling. Yep. Because he settled imagine, a lot of jumpers. Imagine getting hyped to be on your bully shit, and then they sign James Harden. It's about how you play the game. Not it's not about averaging thirty seven. But is is one ball? I, I just want to see who gets to be on their bully shit. The most. That's what bully shit. That's what bully shit is like. Westbrook, when he plays, he's yeah. on his bully shit all the time. Well, Westbrook isn't going to command the amount of shots that he would. No, what I'm saying, want. ten shots. If, if it's ten shots and I attack the basket, all ten shots, I'm okay, posting so up. Okay, so whatever uh, you get is, is like I'm. T- I'm sitting here like bullying the basket. I'm like. Greek the freak is so on his bullying bullshit. is only to the basket. It's yeah. not jumpers. No. It's not. No, no. Yeah, no. You're not settling. Oh. <clears throat> I'm ultra That's aggressive. Settling. I'm not settling for nothing. I'm just going. I'm taking. I'm straight lining. I'm bullying. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. in the post. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like when Westbrook be like, "You too little," or rock like, I'm the on, baby. I'm on, bu- yeah. I'm on my baby shit. So, so I mean, we hear a lot of when you think about Brandon Miller. I want to say Kyan Anthony too, but a lot of these younger generation that look at PG as their goat and. When, when they initially said it, people kind of, you know, they felt some type of way about it. Obviously, wasn't the usual suspects, Kobe, MJ, LeBron, whatever it may be. So in your opinion, Gil, why do young hoopers idolize PG's game so much? The style. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, a st- it's that laid back, that laid back slick style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't, you know, Tracy McGrady had it too, but it's that, that nonchalant, you know, the way they play, they, it doesn't look like it's they not get... serious. It's they not doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like they're getting riled crazy, up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, you know, when you look at those, those kids' games, you will see it. Like, it's like a laid-back style, that Nick Young style. Yeah. Smooth. It's, it's a, it, we, call it, yeah, we call it smooth. Smooth as fuck. It's, and PG always had the smooth yeah. game. Oh, shit. Just silky smooth. And mm-hmm. Brandon Miller played just like that. Kyan played, Kyan played mm-hmm. just like that. But I think Kyan got a lot of... He got a lot yellow. of his daddy. He got, he got a lot, a lot of, of... You can see his daddy in him. All but, day. Know. Yeah. I remember LeBron and PG dapping during the playoffs back in the day when he was with the Pacers. And it, it, it kind of felt like a symbolic moment. Obviously, PG's been hurt a lot beyond that. So you almost not not wonder what was because he's bounced back nicely, but PG without those injuries, you know, different. Mm-hmm. And even to say still killing, right? But like he looked like he was going to be that next dude. So you can understand a lot why guys would rock with him, mm-hmm. especially in that generation. That's when they were coming up. That's what they saw. But good, we got to switch a little bit. So we asked the chat if it's okay for men to cry. We got a thousand votes. How do you think it went? We got a we got men in there, so they, no, no, they no. said no. What's the culture now? We got men in there, so they, they said no. Handbags. They, okay. yes. they wearing they handbags. Yes. They said no. They, they said wearing yes. handbags. We got men Real men cry. They so wearing real, handbags. Real men, real men cry. Seventy six percent of the chat said no. Said it's okay for men to cry. See? They wearing it. What y'all cry? Real men cry. What the fuck is y'all clapping real for? Real men cry. Real. About- Real so what men the fuck? cry. It's about okay. what? what? Yeah, Whatever. what you, the you, fuck? Somebody might have died 
You know, anything. You can no. cry. A lot to do. You know? No, you shed a tear or two. Did That's you? a cry. No, it's not. That crying is. is crying. No. Any, crying is any crying. Li any liquid with, no. caused by emotions what? in your nah, eye hell is nah. crying. Yeah, what, what, how, did word, how did you word that? Hell so we, nah. asked, we asked the chat if it's okay for men to cry. That's hell it. Nah. And they said, yeah, it is. What about, 70 what about okay. when Ricky got, got in Boys in the Hood? We didn't cry. We hopped in the ride. I can't believe What you talking about? We got in the whip. Harbaugh, uh, little baby, baby, baby G and Harbaugh. I hope you don't be teaching your that son. Was, that was that was traumatic. Cry. Macaulay Yo. Calkin sometimes and my girl when he goes simp and got the out. ring. Traumatic. No. You know, sometimes you have to let it out. No, sometimes you don't. Yeah. You cry. Okay. You 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 cry and let your teammates see. When Tupac died, we cried. Huh? What about cry, ha baby. what about oh, happy fast, tears? Nigga. I'm gonna tell what you. What about the, happy tears? You know what the worst thing to be called in the NBA? What? A mama's boy. Why? Cause you soft. Cause you soft. <laughs> oh, it's you raised by your, your mama. mama. So that means you was cuddled. That's yes. That's the worst thing. That's the worst thing to be called as a play. You you are a mama's boy. Come over here to cry on my shoulder, boy. Okay. Oh, you gonna go? go you gonna call that's your mama? Because you guys, that's because you guys are, don't know how to like. You don't have emotional intelligence. We had men you guys as are all fathers. Fighting. We had real you, men. Well, real as men cry, fathers. as you can see in the chat. Real that's men what, cry. No, them ain't real men okay. in the chat. Them yes, niggas are soft. You soft. <laughs> Fast niggas in here in the chat talking about some yeah. So you niggas is soft. No wonder you niggas be hating so hard, cause only women be in there hating. Women are women are haters. They hate on each other. Okay. They hate on other men. But men are supposed to congratulate. <laughs> Don't be a hate. Congratulate. You know what I'm saying? Ain't crying. We ain't definitely ain't crying. Mike wow. ain't crying. Mike. Even though he did a couple Mike times, but Mike was cried. a little mama boy though. Mike, Mike was a mama boy. Cried Mike was a, a mama times, boy. Actually, on Mike was camera. a yeah. He got a whole meme of crying. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I don't fuck with Mike like that. That wasn't like that. Wasn't. But that wasn't oh, the same but, kind of crying. But, but, so I don't fuck but, with Mike like that. Same but, but that wasn't. That was losing. Yeah. That was like losing. It's somebody It's still that crying. Nah. It's still crying. Nah. That's why I said, is it okay to cry happy tears? You cry in the NBA. You cry happy tears. Can you cry if you get a bag? Can you cry happy tears? Nah, nigga. Straight face. Can you cry happy tears? Yeah. Hold your chin up. Nope. Oh, we supposed it's suspected. When you're it's son, suspected. When you're when you give birth, when you get a child, when you, your baby comes out, you didn't shed any type of tear at all. No. Man, so get get uh, Elijah a tear for a baby coming. Up? Elijah in the NBA, he wins MVP. He says you the real MVP during his speech. You're not crying, my nigga. Got, my nigga. My nigga. What's up? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. My <laughs> nigga. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we on. Oh, Boy, you better not cry. Either one of you guys. Boy, you better not cry. Boy, you better not cry. cry. You've cry? never cried. You've I almost never... cried when I like my knee was hurting from you, surgery. You've never cried? Like it was like it was hurting okay, really so bad. Okay, so then yes. No, I said I almost. And you've cried, so you already admit it. Say what? You already admit that you've cried. No, I didn't you miss, did. miss shit. You said tears No, I said you eyes. could shit. I didn't say I shed a tear. You did. I, no, I did not. Don't be putting words in niggas' mama. I ain't never said no shit like that. Cause if he said he cried, he's soft. Nigga, you soft. No, you better not cry I around me. I ain't losing. I ain't losing to no three point shooter. He a cry baby. Come on, man. Now, I'm, I'm serious. You if guys you, are foolish. I'm, I'm serious. In the locker room, ask any I'm NBA player. Guys. The one thing you don't want to be called is a mama. I'll ask Can so. you cry in the shower when the water mm. with what, your head down? What you crying for? Cause we lost. That's the question. What you crying for? What if I tricked the bag up? What are you crying? What is the purpose of this cry? Even when women crying, I'm like, yo, what did you? What are you crying for? Well, it's probably, girls. probably some girls. bullshit. You you miss four shots, you want to cry. Oh. What you crying for? Yeah, it's hard. We miss so shots. Crying. They don't want to work out with me because I don't do crying. Man, we don't do none don't of do that. Stomach hurting. I don't do none of that. Like if you gonna do all that, stay home. <laughs> I didn't wake up at five in the morning for you to say your stomach. Hurt. My stomach hurt. If I'm working out with you and you start tearing up and crying because it's too hard. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. You soft. Can't do it. Can't do it. You ain't built for this. S O F T. Man. Soft. With a capital T. <laughs> I'm asking some NBA players. Don't uh, be soft, nigga. And, 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 and they, I'm asking some NBA players. And if they keep say talking, if it's okay talking. to cry, they, got, they, they only raised by their mama. That's, no, I said, what's the worst thing you could be called in the NBA locker room? That's the question. It's going to be your soft. It's going to be the B word, broke, yeah. mama's boy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something feminine, trust me. For sure. <laughs> what if they call you P broke? You. Puss that. Oh. Puss that. I smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to be something feminine. So we got, a, we got a question from the chat uh, OnlyFans. The, the underdog username. 
Most mostly fans. <laughs> See, they put it in there and only look at that. They put it in there. Y'all motherfuckers trying to trick me. Only fans when she started stealing dudes out the out the, out the damn crowd. Y'all know I'm Rob Burgundy. <laughs> I can only read what's in the prop. What they say, it. man. So the, the username is Don't McCants Me. I'm just telling you. Don't McCants Me. Oh my God. That's you, you sick. You calling the chat off. That's off. sick. Don't yeah. me. But what does that mean? Yeah, that means let you know a nigga warm means. up. Oh, let a nigga warm up. <laughs> Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I own up to that. I like that. Don't be canceled. Don't be canceled. So who who will have the better season this year, Clay, Booker, or PG? I feel like it's Clay, Booker, or PG. What do you mean by season? Is this this statistical? Just them, statistical, not team. Not team. Statistical? Who? Well, that's a good question. It is. Because it's loaded. Like teams are loaded up. PG. PG? You think with Westbrook running? I don't point think Not if Harden comes on the team, you won't. PG, think so? Because, because one, one because Clay might not. I mean, not Clay, but uh, Kawhi might not play as many games, so he'll have that that edge. Um, Clay's gonna average nineteen to twenty-one. I think Clay's due for one. 19 to 21, that's all he gonna give you. I think it's a higher clip this year. I think for the first time in history? For the first I got time. One for the first time, this is gonna be Clay's breakout, like I've been waiting what? for this year. I got one response so far, and it's B A N or B- Vagina. B B A S N word. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Or the vagina. Uh huh, told you. What yeah. is hey, boy, are you allowed to cry? What? Are you allowed to cry? No. Oh my God. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> he said That's it like. Awful. He said it like. No. no like you can cry. like who cry? Who you cry? Can cry? Girls cry, right? Yeah. No, you can cry. It's okay. Nah. <laughs> it's okay. He can nah, cry. Tell him, this show quickly took a turn. Raised by men. Y'all what? Y'all Even his so granddaddy scared. be like, "Who you cry?" Hey, he, be, hey, he be in the, and he be in the game too. Hey, don't be crying out here. <laughs> For real. So, there's a rumor circulating in the chat right now. Can't Ooh. can't verify, but you hear you the man to answer it that you cried when you and C won the Natty in 2005. Never. Woo! Woo! Why you wooing? What is all that shit? Come out. What is all that shit? Did you? I'm asking. Bro, did you? first thing I did was take my jersey off and raise that shit up in the... I'm out of here. Okay, second, <laughs> look, second thing happened was I'm on the... Everybody's cheering. First thing I said was I can't believe this motherfucker wasn't playing me at the end of the game. Where the fuck would I be tearing up? 14, I have 14 points in the first half. Jay-Z and Beyonce are there to see me. And you cried. No, I'm pissed. You cried. Because I'm supposed to have 30 and win the MVP. Mm. And you didn't cry. Who won the MVP? Why the that fuck year? would I cry? Are you listening? Yeah, I don't, that, that don't sound like he cried. Did anybody have the footage? Look, you didn't first, win the MVP? Thing, first thing that happened when we won and we got to the locker room, they all at my locker. Try, what are you going to do? I'm out of here. Going to the draft. First question, first answer. I can't wait to leave. What were we part of in that? We were partying at. When did the Becky come into play? <laughs> <laughs> Becky was waiting. Becky was waiting. But look, it, it ended up because Lil Wayne was at the game. We ended up partying with Lil Wayne after the game. Really? Yeah. Ain't no tears. Where was right the Becky game at? It was in St. Louis. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it was in the loo. It was in the loo. Yeah. Loo. yeah. <laughs> was it crying? Crying. Come on, nah, okay. man. I you were at the game? Hey, hey, you can ask the, you can ask my teammates. Was I, got, I, I that type of nigga? Response. Was I that Selfish. type? Okay. But little Wayne, the little Wayne turn up after the game. Basketball, NBA. Mm-hmm. Who'd y'all be in that ninety? Huh? Uh, Illinois. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was that the? Uh, yeah. That was that crew. Yeah. We yeah. Yeah. That was crying. Listen, man. I don't come from pops. We talking now, pops. They, they, my pops and Gilbert pops would be best friends, hundred percent. Tough guys, we don't, man, we don't teach that shit. I ain't never been raised on no nigga. You get punched in your chest, you better get up. Gil, Gil, would you cry if your dad named you Hippolito? Facts. See? <laughs> but he didn't. We would have been cooking your ass. <laughs> you, can't, you can't cook named Hippolito Arenas. What's funny is the, the, the boys is the crybaby, to be honest. <laughs> yep. Just because they, they, they be getting whooped by the, 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 the girls. girls it's okay, strong. though. Girls are stronger. It's okay to shit now, yeah. here. By far. Yeah. Hey, we got that, we got that ready? 
We got that video? We got it ready? Ooh, we got a video? The, no, the better have kids crying. No. So <laughs> we, got, we got a little breaking news uh, coming from the Daily Mail. The Lakers are unveiling Kobe's statue on August 8th, 2024. Oh. Statue will reportedly feature both both numbers eight and twenty four, as well as Kobe's daughter Gigi. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be two 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 statues. Mm-hmm. Might as shit. Might as well give him nigga three. But, yeah, they gotta have two statues. They gotta have one with the eight with the little fro. That's iconic. Mm-hmm. Fro is iconic. Another answer came in: a snake. That means he messed with a uh, teammate's girlfriend. We good. <laughs> I mean, he messes with I'm just saying, you you got excuse. Everybody's answering. Because you you, you got to ask it a certain way. Okay, I just type from a, what, from another player. What is the worst thing to be called? By you, I said by your teammates. Another player. So I don't play that shit. But yeah, we get three back to Kobe. Can you get some smoke for for, for Kobe? Kobe yeah. 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 Get Next year, through. right? Because that's a dope date. Eight eight twenty four. That's so perfect. Yeah. Isn't that Kobe's up. date? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's his day is 8-24. Yeah, his birthday is 8-24, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the 23 or 24. But uh, that's legendary. Right. It's Barry said 8-23. But Kobe day is 8-24. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 so LA need to show out from the 8th to, to the, the 24th. 24. Yeah. Just 16 days of turn up. Yeah. 16 days Let's of get it cracky. Let's yes. throw in that championship parade that we were... Deprived of for the hardest championship in NBA history. And hey, that's crazy how we still don't have a parade. Like they still ain't like try to make that. That make because they right. all know it was some bullshit. Yeah, COVID man, like that's ain't nobody. Genie said, "Fuck that, that thirty shit. billion for the parade." Thirty million. Yeah, we ain't yeah. giving that to Caruso. You think we giving that for a parade? Fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all better fuck it. And, and I guess it's too late now because you know the team's been dispersed yeah. and nobody's coming back. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not coming those back. Those players like, are. Like if I yeah. won a championship, but I left, I'm not coming back for no parade. I got better shit to do now. If COVID but, was still relevant, like, you know, it was just fake shit so y'all can give LeBron a chip. It wasn't even the real. Come on, man. Y'all stop at this shit. How's it not a real? Stop. Stop. First of all, we where is it at now? The Lakers was the, balling before COVID hit. What are you talking about? It was the flu. We was killing before the, the COVID. COVID stopped what we was doing. What are you talking about? Man, listen. Bubble. Bubble boys. I bet if your team won it, you, it, you that was the hardest. That was the hardest. Team. That, it is the hardest because Lakers don't have no home court advantage. They gotta go to Orlando, be locked up in Disneyland prison. Bubble boys. Stay in regular size hotel room. Everyone's equal. Everybody's not equal. In the bubble, everyone was equal. No. Yes, they were. Yeah. Did you hear the rules in it? No. Both teams get cheered. There's no booing. I want to hear another. So no one's getting booed. Everyone's getting cheered. The referees put a rule in that they can't say, ref, you suck. So everyone is, is, is happy. So there's no coming to L.A. being booed. So Clipper, that was the best chance the Clippers got to beat the Lakers because they both get cheered. There's no, there's no overtake on the crowd. So everyone was I getting cheered. I think it was all equal. Honestly. It was equal. It was that's, the most, that's what I said. It everybody was, the, was there. It wasn't any special, pri- like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody was Lakers there. Lakers don't have, that's what I said. Lakers didn't have no home court advantage, so they can't overtake your crowd. The best thing that happened in the bubble was the Dame Lillard interview. You know what I came here for. You know what I came here for? I came here to whoop these niggas' ass. It was the only thing that was good about the whole thing. Everything else was LeBron, Wine, Weed, J.R. Smith and them saying, hey, man, we got the best suite on the island. Smoking weed. Chilling. Playing video games. Chilling. Tough life. Chilling. Vets yeah. was going to win that. Vets was going to win the bubble. Whoever had the, the strong, whoever yeah. had the strongest Not vets. Who, vets. Who, whoever who, had who, the most vets. Whoever cried the least. <laughs> whoever cried. <laughs> <laughs> whoever had the, whoever cried. The LeBron was going to win. They got been poor before. This they got shit. the vets. Man, they had the most vets. They had everybody they needed, bro. But let's talk a little bit about that that Kobe statue. What does that mean to you guys to hear the Lakers finally have a date on it? Obviously, we knew Kobe's statue was long overdue. But to be able to see that statue in front of Staples. I'm going to ask you guys this. Or I already know. You know, you talk about men don't cry. No, everybody on this couch cried when they found out Kobe passed away. But are you going to cry when you see that statue in front of Staples Center? Gil? Even inside, not let a tear come. Inside, inside, inside. Did you cry yeah. when Kobe passed, Gil? Look, you don't hear it's me? It's okay, you cried. Did you cry when Kobe nope. passed? You didn't? Mm-mm. Nothing. No, no water came out of nope. your eye. It hurt. Wow, okay. I did. 
We got some tough Negroes on this show. Right, oh, man. And Kobe's my it man. It wasn't just I mean, about him. It was also about his daughter being with him. Like, that, was, that was sad. Tragedies was really happen, man. Awful and but hurt. Now we got this st statue to honor his legacy. Yeah, that's going to be wild to see that, man. Uh, that's going to be emotional. Let's just keep it real. I know y'all are tough. I'm, I'm probably going to have a, a, a thug tear or two. But shout out to Jeannie and the Lakers for finally getting that done. We need to do a Gills Arena. Statue? We won't, we won't be able to get two staples because you know how to be acting like haters, but we could get... Who can't get the staples? Can we shoot it at staples? Go work, flex your muscle. Do you have full luck? Is it outside staples? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be outside in that little courtyard, but we can go to like the JW Marriott or the courtyard. LA Live. Live. Yeah, LA Live. We, you know, get some action. Go to fixings. Or they just rent it out now. Just rent out the arena. Hey. <laughs> no, you just rent out, rent out just, just something for the day because they're not, they're not paying attention right now. The lobby. Like anything that's close to it, any stores, you rent it out for an event that whole day. Yeah, do castle, yeah. Girl, you baller. Yeah. Get us some spicy tuna rolls. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever, man, they be tagging me on this video of this person at McDonald's. I don't appreciate that shit. I'm just sharing with y'all. It's not you. No, it's not me. <laughs> you sure? But they do have a toe face, thumb face like me. And I had to, but y'all are assholes. <laughs> a lot of mean spirited people on this planet. You don't be at McDonald's. We're just humorous. Somebody at a McDonald's <laughs> bitching about getting the order wrong or something, which is something I would do, but that's not me. I'm getting sexy, guys. I'm slimming down. <laughs> you bully me to greatness. Y'all PG. <laughs> y'all on y'all bully shit. <laughs> Bullying does work. But let's talk about something that happened last week. Uh, on the show, you said you talked with Ty Lue, and he said that the Clippers finally have a leader in Russell Westbrook. Naturally, some people took this as a, a slight to Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. But when you look around the league, like, the star players on teams aren't necessarily always the leader. You look at the Nuggets, you know, Jokic, generational performer, generational player. But we had Thomas Bryant on this couch yesterday, and he said he saw him get mad one time, you know, in terms of just being vocal. So it's not always necessarily the star player that's the leader. Mm -hmm. So, but want to ask you guys, is it a star player's responsibility to be the team leader? Responsibility? I mean, you would, uh, you, 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 you would like as a team, as a coach, as an organization, for your best player to be the um, vocal leader and, and the example leader, but it doesn't always, it, it doesn't always happen like that, right? You know, um, yeah. it, it just doesn't, you know. Um, sometimes your most talented player is just your most talented player. And there's a, there's a player on there that, that engages him to make him, you know, be accountable for, you know, you know, games that's up and down. So it's not always the best player on the court. I know the yeah. fans were like that, but it's not. It's yeah. assumed, but there's other ways to lead. Also, you don't have to lead with, with words. You can lead with actions. You can lead with off the court things. Some of these guys need leaders that show them things off the court too. Like I remember one of the, um, um, what was his name? Um, shoot, James Posey. And I heard a lot of players talking about him late in his career, how he was the leader, and it was, had nothing to do with game. He wasn't even playing. He wasn't mm -hmm. getting minutes, but he was the leader of the team, and he did so many other things that had nothing to do with play, and he was the leader. So there's different ways you can lead, and you have more than one leader, you know? So, Rashad, you came in to lead with KG. Would you say he was the leader of, the, of those Timberwolves squads, and what made him such a, a good leader, in your opinion? The best player, <laughs> being the best player. The best player don't got to be the vocalist. The best player don't got to do anything but lead. It's the part of the word leadership, lead, right? So there are vocalists mm -hmm. on teams. Trey Mon's a vocalist. James Posey was a vocalist. Udonis has them. Vocal. Everybody, certain people are vocal. Does it mean that you're the leader because it's hard to, to follow someone that's sitting next to you on the bench, right? Or a guy that's in foul trouble constantly. It's like, I always feel like, like a guy like Steph is the leader. He don't got to say nothing in the bench. He ain't got to say nothing in the game. But when he come to the bench and he do say something, it's like our leader has spoken. Our leader has spoken. And so even with Westbrook being considered the leader, I would say on that team, a lot of people would say that he's not the best player. I would say he is the best player. He's the best player on that team. Westbrook is the best player on that Clippers West team. Westbrook is the best player on that team because everything he does – around every aspect of the game is better than everyone else. He may mm -hmm. not score 
as much as a higher rate as Kawhi and PG because that's not his job anymore, but he's already proven that then he can do those do things. The best, he's the best. Say what? You said he's the best at everything, but not scoring? Rebounding. So not assists, everything. And he can't. I said it's not his job to be the best scorer. So he's not the best. He can't. He can be the he's best. Not. Well, technically, so if, he's if I could finish one. my point and stop being interrupted around my point, Westbrook has proven that he can be the best scorer, the best rebounder, and the best assist man in the league. So now that his role has been reduced, it doesn't mean that he's still not the best on that team, which is why they consider him the leader. It's because he doesn't have to be vocal. He leads by example. He shows up. He's going to lead the team. I'm going to play hard every night. I'm going to play the right way. I'll follow my lead. I disagree. And I also disagree with you saying people that are just vocal or just vocal. Those are also leaders. You're saying you can't lead with a man sitting next to you. Yes, you can. There's people on that bench that need somebody like him to say, hey, I was where you were. To this say, is what you're going to do. This is how, how you're going to get off that bench. This is what you need to do while you're on that bench. This is how you become a great teammate. This is how you keep your nose clean. This is how you make sure you get rest at night. So if your number is called, then you, you're going to be ready. Like, that's leading also. You don't have to lead with play. That's you can vocal. lead with No, it's still leading. That's, you said say. It's still leading. You said say, though. It's still leading. But you're vocalizing. Yeah. Which means that you're being vocal about whatever the about vision your leadership. is. leadership. So you, if you're on the bench with me, mm -hmm. you're, on, you're being a mentor. So then you're that's vocalizing. Like, so then something. what you said about Westbrook, he's not scoring all the points. He's not leading in those categories. He doesn't have to. I'm saying, so then he's not a leader then. You said who, whoever's doing it. No, I said who the best player is. The best yeah, he's player not leads. the best player. He is. No, he's not. Not right now. Yes, he no, is. No, he's not. Yeah, he no, is. No, he's not. By, by what? By history. History? Yes. So then Jordan's the best player of, uh, was always the best player on his teams then, right? Was he the best player when he was with the Wizards? No. What? What basketball games are you watching? I'm just saying. There's, what there's, are you what, talking about? If you're, if you're not in your prime and you're not the best player on the team, then you can't be History leader. will prove that no, you are. No. Yes, it is. Then that doesn't make any sense. It don't got to make you, sense if you when, say you, someone when we here in the lead, locker room. Listen. If someone's on here's the Here's the bench, difference. If someone's on the bench, when you played, not when you played, anything, when you played at this level, oh, so when you played at this, when you level, played at this level, okay, so I can't. There I can't is an the understanding, okay, so I don't have of who the leaders are, who the vocalists are, who the best players are. I played a professional basketball. But when basketball. the best players are not talking, I played professional right? basketball. When the best players are not talking, you still know who the best player is when he comes over and he says, "Hey, hey, give me the motherfucking ball, move the fuck out the way." Got it. Got it. But then you like got the vocalists who may not play as much, like uh, still a leader. Calvin Booth or uh, Greg Buckner, which I'm talking about my team. Guys who on the bench talking, vocalizing. That's still We leader. know he's just being the vocal guy. He's not the leader of the team. I didn't say the leader he's of the, the team. Of the I said he is a leader. There's he's not more the than leader. one leader. We're not talking about a yeah. leader. We're talking about the leader. There's more than one leader. There's more than one way to lead your team. Like, why is that even a debate? It's not. It is. You're no. debating it. No, you're debating. You are. I know what it is. I know what it is. How? And your opinion is not higher value than mine. Why I'm is giving, it not? Because I'm giving examples. No, I played. I played too. Where? Overseas. Okay, so we're not talking about overseas basketball so we're right now. About, we're exactly. talking about NBA basketball. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about the we're National about Basketball Association. Basketball. You're not going to use that? We You're have not going to use just because you was in the what NBA? What you mean? That this means is your what we That's what demise. we're talking about. Just because you play I don't the have NBA, an opinion. You, you're, I don't have an opinion. You do. This is a fact. This is an opinion. Because I play. And just because I, you play fans, in the NBA, we played the same have amount of years. We played the same amount of years. We didn't play the same amount of anything. Yes, we did. You have an Yes, opinion because you've never yes, done it. Yes, we did. Yes, I have. I have a perspective. I've actually been the leader. No, I've actually been I the highest score on my team. Multiple years. Multiple. Have you? Huh? Huh? I've won. Have you won in, in the pros? I don't I have to. So exactly, because you wasn't the leader. What? You wasn't. You wasn't. What does that able, have to do you with? You wasn't able to do what I did. What did you do? You wasn't able to do what I did. What did you do? I had more points than you. I was the lead. I led my teams. You had more as a pro. Points? Yes. As a pro. I was the star on my teams. What WNBA every single team, play? What every WNBA single team, team you play I on? played on as a professional. What WNBA? I was the leading scorer. Where did you go to college? Cal State LA. Where? Yes, Cal State LA. Where's that? 
here in L.A. What is what is that? It it's a LA. Division Two school. Okay, okay, Division Two. Uh -huh. What WNBA team did you play for? None. Okay, so you're comparing your opinion to my perspective. I'm comparing my perspective. Your opinion. My perspective. You're I comparing your opinion. Basketball. You're talking about your opinion on the game. Professional basketball. Where? Oh, it doesn't matter. It does. Why? Be Why does it matter? Because the pros are the pros. The pros are the pros, yes. So you never played yeah. in the pros. I did. I Where? You overseas. never played in the WNBA. Yes. That's, so what? There's a lot of people that didn't play in the WNBA that were great What do you mean? <laughs> There's a lot of players but, that didn't play. But you're trying to tell me right I'm here. wrong about my professional I'm perspective. I'm telling you a fact. That no. There's more than one way to leave. No. You know, y'all finish off and give me a snack. It's <laughs> fine. Y'all good. Y'all good. Continue, man. Yeah. Go to the next joint. I'm sick no, no, of that shit. Go, to no. the, go no. ahead, man. Go to the, the next joint, man. The deal does it, too. You guys try to diminish my opinion. No, it's it's not. Because it's I didn't play in the NBA. I'm sitting on this couch for a reason. What reason is that? I'm on this couch for a reason. What reason is that? Because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I only what? I diminish you because you use a girl. Oh. That's different. That, not because you didn't play pro. I just say you're a girl. That's it. That, is, that ain't got you nothing to do. You're actually worse. Don't Thank throw you. That, don't throw Thank that you, up. Gilbert. Don't throw in here. Thank you, Gilbert. Don't you finish. Ain't it's no finish. We worse. done. No, we ain't finished. Yeah, we done. I'm gonna, done. You ain't going to keep disrespecting I'm, my opinion just I'm because I, didn't play, I couldn't play in the NBA. I'm I got done. titties. I couldn't play in the NBA. I'm done. I'm okay. Done. I'm done. My point has been proven. Yeah. Okay. Who's winning this argument? Let's chat both. They put a poll up. Who uh, winning? You put a poll up. Let me see. Thank you. <laughs> wait, That's what we need to wait, do. They, put they're a working poll up. right now. Niggas He's going to disagree if it doesn't go with his opinion. No more beef, guys. All right? Ain't no beef. This is just letting him know that I'm here. No, like and I'm not going and nowhere. Right and I'm going to say my opinion. And you ain't going to agree with it, but that's okay. Just like you was wrong yesterday about the football shit. I ain't wrong I about, I ain't wrong I'm about nothing. I'm better at covering this football than you as well. This is a basketball show. I'm better at this covering is a basketball football than you show. as well. This is I a basketball know more show. about and I never play. No, you don't. And I never play no, down the football. And I know more about football than you See, as well. That's like Stephen A. Smith Thank and them you. knowing Thank more you. about it than us. Thank, right? I'm not Just Stephen coming. A. Smith. I'm mm. not Stephen A. Smith. I'm oh, Miko Grimes. Let, let's get it back, back on track. <laughs> what are the qualities of a great leader in an NBA locker room? <laughs> Finish your Dorito. Yo, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> Finish your Dorito. Just the fact that we just had a conversation is a waste of my energy, man. And why is like, it a waste of your energy? What the fuck energy? was that? Like, why what? is it a waste of your Finish energy? Golly. You don't Doritos. think I belong Oh, my snack? gosh. Uh, Frito later said, that's some snacks, perhaps. What? Hey, Dorito. Hey, see, Dorito. What did hey, Jazz say? Top what four show. This comes great. Hey, hey. There comes great with shit like this going on, okay? Top four show. We need more sponsors, oh but shout out to God, Underdog it's Fantasy. Crazy. Use promo code Gills Arena. Here, then. We're gonna start doing pickums on the it's show too. Show, higher right? lowers. How it's many? It's an NBA show, right? Sports show. Sports, Sports show. Sports pop culture life. I basketball. never played in the NBA. We already know that. So why is that even a part of the discussion? I don't think the chat knows that. I yeah, they, they do. do now. They do know that. So they're like, there's okay. more. They they know that. They they know me. <laughs> they know me. Mm. What does it say? There's no winners or losers. <laughs> what does it say? He's no. it. So, Miko currently at 62%. But Rashad is already antagonizing. Thank that. you. Thank you. <laughs> he called him soft. I don't give a fuck Who about cares? that. I'm we right. We know this. We know I'm this. I'm right. I'm just, I'm just telling fuck. you. <laughs> You can't ask These are the same 72% of niggas that said, that's, said that, <laughs> said that crying is okay. Okay. It's okay. The same, These are the same 72% of the, the chat that said crying it's is okay. It's the same guy that's, that's talking about who a leader of a team is, is a guy that's the best and has never been the best player on his professional team. Who like has never been the best player? You. You. Never on no NBA team have you been the best player on the roster. Not once. I've been the second best. Not once. Second best. I've been every single year. But you never the, played from the pro. From the moment I was playing you never basketball, played pro. from the moment I picked up a ball at so, 10 years so, old, okay. I was always the best so, player on every team okay. I played on. So I, w I was the best player on every single team I played on. No, you weren't. NBA. Exactly. Except Where for the NBA. Where it matters. NBA. What are we talking about? So NBA? you never played in we're the WNBA. About, we're talking So what are you even NBA. talking about? You we're never made it. You never made it to the biggest league. Listen, when so I, what are you even talking about? You never was, you I, never made you it you don't think to I, the WNBA. You don't think I could have So you never could have been the best player in the WNBA because you never even made it. I, so what I, are you even I, talking I about? I have to. 
I didn't have what to. What are you talking about? I went overseas. So I made mean? way more money. So what are you I got talking about? More time. And I what are you talking about? Yes. I think y'all should just go on a date. For what? <laughs> Man, I just go on a date, talk to y'all on the date. You don't even like black girls. This is your word. This is your word. This is not my word. What are you talking it's about? Word. What you talking about? Ain't, what you asking me for a date? What you what? talking about, girl? All right, we go. Who's working mine? What you we're talking call, about? We're gonna call timeout. We're gonna call timeout. Who's working mine? I don't know. Exactly. We're gonna call timeout. We're gonna be putting it on me, bro. Nigga, talking about some date, nigga. What you talking about? The Doritos were tasty. Basically, they want a date, yes or no? You don't even like black pussy. Why would I even? Hey, 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 h
right? right? And that's really how it was divided. So it's like when Kobe got his, when Kobe felt that he was Thank in you. power, we seen what his power did. Get rid of him. And if you get rid of him, take him with you, right? Um, leadership is basically who, 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 who can follow, who, who has the path to the promised land, right? It's not necessarily um, the strongest, the loudest, is who's smart enough to get the team to where they're supposed to get, who has the, who has the IQ to lead men, who, who's basically technically the smartest strategic uh, person on the team is usually who the leader is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just, you know, so you can be the leader, I can be the leader one year and a better, a better fit comes in and everyone's gravitating to him. That's just... But from yeah. an ego standpoint, are you going to be willing to give that up if you feel like you should be that leader? There's nothing to give it up. It's, it, you not get, you it, get up, it taken. There's nothing you can yeah. do. Like, you know, KG was the leader one year until Sam Cassell got there. Um, Paul, Paul Pierce is the leader of Boston until, um, until KG got there, right? Uh, Ray Allen was a leader. Where he was, they all came together, and then out of the three, one decided, hey, I am the, I am the vocal leader. Yeah, we're, we're going through, you know, he's the main guy that we're going to go through, but I'm the one who's leading. I'm the one who's, you have a defensive leader, you have an offensive leader. You know, like a football. You have, you know, you have the quarterback, and then you have someone on the defensive end that's, that's leading. Right? So it just depends on the, the makeup of the team. So, Rashad, you play for KG. What made KG special in terms of leadership? We see the videos, him, him cussing dudes out, yelling, and that can have an impact on dudes. We've seen it with CP3, other guys. Some guys can't handle that. They can't deal with that. So playing with a guy like KG, how long did it take you or take you for him, for him to earn your respect and just that respect to the team? Was it instant walking in there, you knew right away, this is, this is Tickets team, and we're going to do whatever the fuck he says? A 1,000%, because I was a leader on my team when we won the championship. So I knew exactly what it was to follow a leader. He was the best player. The best player, don't gotta be vocal. He led by example. In all the practices, the energy he brought, attention to detail, like you said, being the smartest player, knowing the schemes, knowing the operation of the whole organization, but not having to actually go and say all this shit and waste energy on, you know, telling guys what to do. Follow my lead, fall in line, be the guy. Right, and he taught me all of the steps it took to be the leader on that level. So when he left, I became the team captain, and I was next to Al Jefferson, who came in as our best player, but he wasn't the vocal guy, right? So he led by example, and it was up to me to be the vocal guy. So it was definitely that transfer of power, understanding <laughs> how to play second tier, but also how to be the leader when you're out there on the floor and lead by example. I'm saying, and that, that's something that KG always exhibited, and that's why when he went to Boston, I still believe it was still Paul Pierce being the leader, but he fell in line as the number two being the vocal. Really? Because okay. he knew how to vocalize and be the anchor on the defensive end, and it didn't necessarily say that he was the leader of the team. He was the leader of the defense. He, lead, he led the, the most important aspect of the Boston Celtics. You think Kevin Garnett would agree with you that a guy on the bench can't be a leader? Nobody has to agree with anything. I'm asking you a question. I just answered it. Nobody has to agree with anything. I said, do you think? You know Kevin Garnett, No one Garnett, has right? to agree with anything. Well, I can answer that. Yeah. When I was in Golden State, um, when I wasn't playing, right, uh, Mark Jackson was taking me to the gym every single day. You know, when I was depressed, getting me better. Um, he was still hooping at that. that, that yeah, he was still hooping, but he was like going through a calf. He was huh. calf strain, so he wasn't playing too, but he was working with me every single day, right? He wasn't playing, but in my eyes, I only listened to him. I didn't listen. You. I didn't listen to anyone else. He was leading. So when I came into the game, and even though Antoine, uh, Antoine, Larry, even though they was the guys, they couldn't tell me shit, right? Because you didn't earn. You didn't earn my my Your ear. ear. Right, even my second year there. Like, you didn't earn my ear for me, so I was rogue, right? When Antoine won six men and Antoine came back um, to when I got to Washington, 
Um, that first year, you know, Stackhouse was the leader of the team, even though he wasn't there. You know, he was just the, 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 the dude, the alpha, the sure. dude of the team. Um, that following year, Antoine came, and Antoine took on the leadership. Him and Larry, and Larry never said a word. Like he never, Larry never said a word, but when he did talk, we listened. But he never said anything. So, like, I was never actually a leader of the team. Like, I was never, I, I, I was never yet in position, you know. You know, I'm looking at the older guys as the leaders. I'm just the best player. I'm the face of this Thank team. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'm going to do what I do. You're going to tell these other players what to do. If, I, if, if it makes sense to me, I'll follow what, what you're saying. So if I'm shooting too much, I'll look. And if he'd be like, yo, pass the ball around, bet. Are you arguing or are you just doing it? Just doing it. Because like I said, Larry, Larry then wasn't going right. to say nothing to me unless it was the betterment for the team. And look because back. I did, I, I mean, what I'm saying is, I worked my ass off. I, I, was, the, I was the example of working, right? Um, but telling others what to do um, wasn't, you know, I didn't, that wasn't, my, that, wasn't my, that wasn't my strengths. That was Larry Hughes and that was Antoine's strengths to put them together. I just played, I just played basketball. Plus three, Miko. Why? What? You just said what I said. What? That there's a way to lead and not be the star player. There's also a way to lead, not to lead and be the star player. There's multiple people that can be leaders, and it has nothing, doesn't always have to do with the talent. Yeah, okay, so like Allen Iverson, right? Eric Snow was the leader of the team. Thank you. Thank you. I talked to AI. Plus three, Miko. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying. I, 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 I mean, just, I don't know if that's I'm your sure point. I, I, yeah, I was eating chips. That is my point. Oh, you, you just proved it, and it's okay. We can, we can keep it moving. I knew I was right when I said it, and we can move on now. But, I mean, you talk about those teams, right? And then I never got a chip. Mm -hmm. So even looking at your own experience, do you ever regret not taking more of a leadership role as that star player? I don't. I mean, you know, back then, the, the league was older, right? You know, I'm 25 years old, right? You know, we're, we're young. We, you know, we don't have, <laughs> right, a 25-year-old leader when you have 30, 32, 29, 29. That doesn't make, it doesn't make sense, right? Like, they're going to they're gonna follow my lead on how I play. Okay. But so to tell someone to do something, no. They're going to do what? They're going to follow my lead on how I play. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm so, telling you, I'm not the leader. Can I say something? Sure. The leader doesn't choose whether he's the leader or not. We know that. Mm -hmm. So, regardless of how you feel about leading or being the leader, you were the leader. He was a leader. You were the leader. A leader. I wasn't even a captain. You were the leader. A leader. It's not, a, it's not about captains. It's not about none of that. Like you're the yes, you're the uh, you're the face of that. the franchise. Mm -hmm. It goes as you go. But that's not considered a leader. Thank you. To you. To, you. to the world. To you. <laughs> to anyone. To the no, world. No, no, because no, we can only speak from our own perspectives, right? Yeah. So for me, I disagree that the leader does not pick whether they are the leader or not. Nobody said that. So Eric Snow, people saying him being the leader, even AI saying Eric was the leader, the team went as Allen Iverson went. The team goes as the best player goes. They lead by example. And if you don't carry the team, you can, the team the cannot go. But who is the best player following? It's, it, it's not even about that. It is. No, it's not. Because if you're looking at Allen Iverson as the leader, you're following Allen Iverson, but Allen Iverson's taking, listening to Eric Snow, then Eric Snow is actually the leader. You're just not We're looking not at We're not talking Eric about Snow. listening or vocalizing anything, Gilbert. I'm talking about leading by example. You showing you're up your work best, ethic. You're just talking about the best player. No, I'm talking about your work ethic. Yeah, but I'm if I'm talking about everything you put into the game uh -huh. has everything to do with leading by example. You well, don't have to well, say a, that, you don't have to say anything. Well then that's then, then that contradicts everything you said about oh, Kevin Durant. Thank then. you. What thank did I say you. about Kevin Durant? We, telling, we asked the question. When y'all was saying Kevin Durant wasn't a leader, thank but you. he's the hardest one. We worker. never thank said you. he wasn't the leader, bro. Yes, you did. You said we he was. We asked who has he oh. made better? Oh God! By example, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I work out three times a day. No one else did. Bro, so they wasn't following me. So listen, that, if, that's not you're moving. The so wait, 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 hold on, hold, hold on. You've been in the NBA, right? We've been in the NBA, right? So 
if your best player, like let's say Kobe, right? We'll take this Laker team. He's the best player. He leads by example. But if none of the kids are following him, right? They're not following him. They're clubbing every night because they, they're following mm -hmm. someone else who's at the club, who's at the strip club every single night. Who is technically the leader oh of that pack? Oh my gosh, bro. How does that not make him the leader? Because no one's following him. No one's listening to him. So right. does that make him? They don't even him, want him on the team anymore. So do we win without Kobe Bryant? It don't matter. If no one's following him, is he... By your theory, if no your one's... By my, by my theory, if no. I've already spoke on this. If you're not following me as a leader, get they ass out of here and get me in guys who are going to follow no. our lead. You just... But then, that's what happened. But then you're, not a, but then you're yeah. not a leader. If, if, if you have a crew that's there and they're not following that you... That means they, they don't want to win. No, they just no, don't want to follow you. They just you. want to follow you. You're not... So, but yeah. if, we're, if we're winning when people are following me... What, what does if, that say? Wait, 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 hold on. So what if yeah. that's not good enough? What I'm saying, no, what I'm saying, if you have two men, if you have two yes. men right here, and one has championship and one knows how to talk to his team, right? And you say, all right, 12 men, follow the one you want to follow. And everyone follows the dude who knows how to talk to them, and they don't follow the one with four championships. Who's actually the leader okay. of that group? So if Kobe won three championships, right? And then he comes in, he wants to win two more with the team that he has. They have a decision to make. They can follow him because he's, he's now le he's led by example. He's won. Mm -hmm. He's won championships. So these guys that are coming in have two options. Follow me or don't follow me. But if you don't follow me, we will not win because I need my other guys on this floor. I'm the leader. I'm the leader. But, you're, saying, but you're, you're calling yourself a leader, but no one's following you. So how are you, are you a leader? So how are we going to win? It don't know. You're changing the question. You're, no, you're, I'm not, I'm not, you're changing. No. You're saying. It's not about how am I the leader if they're then deciding. Everyone's a, then everyone's a leader. Yes. In your then, theory. Then? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That sorry. means everyone's a theory. That means if I have a group and I say I'm the leader, I'm the captain of this team, and nobody wants to follow me. Kobe get, Bryant never get, said that he's then, the, we're not, we're, you're, and then I get rid of them. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I get rid of them to get new people then keep getting but people you're who's going to follow You're saying all this to prove your point. No, That's saying. not what I'm saying, Gilbert. You're, That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm saying Kobe Bryant is the leader. He leads by example. The same things that you went in and watched him do, the, the, the same things that helped you become a better player, watching his work ethic, uh -huh. when you watch that work ethic, he's leading by example. So when you follow that, you see success. Okay, you see success from that. And okay. with his teams, when they won those two championships mm -hmm. with the Lakers, yeah. those guys decided to follow him. Follow him, okay. And what, what happened? What happens when you don't? We don't know. We don't, because they won. No. They won. So well, how about after that? They wasn't guys, the, they wasn't guys that were able to raise their play to win, okay. but they knew he was the leader. It no, didn't what, take what, away what, from what, his what, leadership. What I'm, what I'm saying is you're, you're saying that how do you people, not know what I'm saying right now? follow the leader. I hear what you're saying. But you don't. You're saying they're but you following don't. the leader. And I'm saying that year when Kobe had the team, all those Nick Youngs, all those young kids, wasn't following Yes, Kobe. they were. No, they, they weren't. What they were weren't. they doing? Following doing each other. Their own oh, thing. my God. They were doing gosh. their own scene. So why would they all go on podcasts and they're saying that Kobe was our leader? Because people say anything. Why are they saying but that? But if they're saying the leader, oh, but they're bro. not following him, which one is it? People what do you mean? It's not up for us to decide. That what which one is it? Are you trying to do all that to prove your point? I'm not trying to yes, prove a point. Yes, you are, but you're, you what you're saying. No, you're not. You're, you're not listening to what no I'm saying. No one's listening to me. We can get rid of him and get. He's not people. talking, Gilbert. It ain't about listening to him. If he's leading by example, you just say that. No, I did didn't. Not if they're not listening, we can get rid they're of him. They're not following. People. Okay, no, so they're not. There's nothing about listening. He you keep brain, you keep putting your shit into something. I'm not even saying that. If they're not so. So can a leader oh my not be gosh. followed then? Oh my no. gosh. Well, no. Okay. Let him answer his own question. Can a what? A leader not be followed by men. Can he be a leader, but no one follows him? Gilbert, what kind of question is that? Just uh, uh, listen to yourself ask that question. Can he be a leader? That's but a no fucking one rhetorical him. question. Answer it. Do you not hear yourself asking the question? Can a leader say it again? If he's a leader, one is a leader but no one follows him. Is he a leader? So basically he's saying- I, I want him to answer. <laughs> he ain't gonna answer it. 
Because it's going to trap him. <laughs> trap me? Yes. I just want to know. Answer if me. he's a leader, if he consider himself a leader, he's the lead dog, but no one wants to follow him, is he considered a leader? Absolutely still. Yes. Okay. okay. It's those guys who are not, they don't want to follow him. Okay. It's their decision to make. Okay, it so doesn't not make him a leader because they don't want to follow, because other guys can come in and follow him. Well, what'd that do then? Let's ask that question. What happens when the new guys come in and they follow him? So you get rid of... Oh, no, 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 no. So you get Let's rid ask of the, the question. So you get rid Just of the Can guy. you answer my so question? That means I'm not asking about getting rid of I've said so if there's a, a new pack of guys that come in. So everyone's a leader. Can I ask you to can you answer the question? Yes, everyone's a leader then. No, I'm not. No, oh. you're not answering the question. Okay, let me answer your question. The new guys come I mean, in and the start following. Does that make him a leader? Yes, if they follow him. Okay, that's all we need to go. Can we go to the next thing? So everyone's a leader. No, everyone's yes. not. Because if you're not, everyone's not you. a leader. If, if, you're, you're, point, my, if, if I can just remove people that don't want to follow me and bring people that want to follow me, I I become a leader. Everyone becomes a leader then. No, and everyone leader. doesn't because everyone's not in a position for you to move them out and follow me. But it may also raise a point too as a leader, even if you have guys who are following you but they can't deliver on the court, right? <laughs> then you're gonna get new people in there. Yeah. No sense. It, it, right. But what oh I'm just saying, if I'm the leader and I got people following me, but they're not accomplishing what we need to accomplish, like somebody could look at Kobe and try to do all that same shit, but they go on the court. I'm not gonna name any players on those Laker teams, but they can't, they can't play to that level. Example. They can't deliver the example. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm a, but that's, so I think from what you're saying. That's not what you're saying though. But if it I'm, is what I'm, I'm saying. Kobe, I can you get tell in, me what I'm saying? Because we're hearing what you're saying. Because you're not listening. I'm listening to every word you no, say. No, you're not. You're I'm interpreting saying. in your mind as I'm talking. You can't I'm, wait to talk. You're not digesting what I'm saying. You're like, oh, can't wait for him to talk so I can prove him wrong. Actually, I'm this is what you do. Oh, I'm listening. It's he's what you do. I'm listening to every word. Bro, it's what you do, bro. I'm listening to every word you're saying. It's so man, that's shit. You're saying, bro, a leader. Leads if by no, example. Cool, but if no one follows him and he can get rid of those people and it has and get nothing to group, do with him being a leader and get new group, he can become a leader. So no. in that theory, everyone technically become a leader. How is technically? All they just need is people that can follow them. <sighs> if you're not following me today, I can get rid of you and bring someone who's going to follow me. And now I'm considered a leader. Not everyone. But can, you're not going to. Not everyone him. can get rid of people to come in and follow them, Gilbert. Not everyone. Eric Snow can't get, get rid of a team and say, "Come in and follow me." And he can't because he can't lead because he can't lead, lead by example. Because he's a different kind so, of leader. So, There's so more than one, like I now said. Now we're putting the person yeah. who no one wants to follow. You just, said every, you just said every. You just said everyone can be a leader. To. You just said everyone can be a leader. In, by your theory. How is it by my theory? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> if this person is a leader, right, and we don't want to follow him at all, right? We don't want to follow this man. Why don't you want to follow him? Gilbert? Doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it what does you mean matter. it doesn't matter? We don't believe in what he's saying. You don't believe in his championship. We don't believe in nothing he's saying. We don't like the way he's, he's not saying anything. We don't like, like the way, the way he's, he's not saying anything. He's like leading my example. Okay. And we don't like his example. What yeah. the fuck is going like on? He's not and we don't, talking. What, what, hold on. Am I being... What the fuck is going on? He keeps saying, we don't want to hear what he's saying. I'm like, how many times do I have to say he hasn't said a word? We don't like his example. We don't like his example then. How about that? We don't Forget what he's saying. We don't like his example. We don't like nothing he's doing we don't like the fact that he's won three championships no okay no. so they're not following him okay right? so you get rid of him right and then you bring in guys who want to follow him more guys that want to follow him right that makes him a leader now what okay it doesn't make him a leader let me just stop <laughs> doing that it doesn't he has people that follow him now let's move him out let's say this is anyone that does hasn't won that hasn't won and, and is not leading by example. But but he's he's vocal. Or he's now these guys follow him. Does this make him a leader? Does it? It should, right? People following him. Does it? Yeah. Yes. So James Posey is a leader on the bench. Is no, James... that has nothing to do with James Posey. That this man who has people following him, he would yeah. be considered a leader for these guys. They yes. would look at him as a leader. Yes. Okay. Exactly what I said. A guy on so, the bench so can be a leader. At what point are you? What is so different anybody, from my point than your so point? Anybody can become a leader. Yes. All they have to do is, is people follow, follow them. Have followers. Yes. So you don't That's have to be the best player. You don't have to be any of that. You could be on the bench sitting. So how how am I wrong? Them. No one said you was wrong. I so said what you is were wrong. the point? You just I went through all of that to do what? That's the problem. To prove you were wrong. To, no, okay. I, I wasn't so proving you wrong. I was just trying to hear me. what you were saying. He helped. So if you heard what I was saying, just to prove that. 
that there can that's, be a leader like Eric Snow if guys decide to follow him. As whoever, right? Whoever follows is a leader. Cool. So you disagree with my? I point. didn't disagree. No. Okay. So if you don't disagree with my point, what would be the point of doing all of that? You was disagreeing with something I was trying to agree. No, with. I was not, Gilbert. I never it, disagreed with anything you said. Literally, what happened? You, then yes, how did we come up with happened. the same? Because I said you lead by example. I said to lead by example. I was making the point that you can lead by example. That's where leadership comes, leading by example. You said, well, well in, in your theory, anybody can be a... Th then you went into that. You went in. I didn't... You said I was I wrong. didn't question... No, I didn't. You said I was wrong. No, I didn't, Gilbert. Never once. <laughs> Never no once. Right or wrong on Gil's Arena. These are just spirited discussions, debates. Never once. Courtesy of our friends at Underdog Fantasy. So go ahead, download the app, use promo code Gil's Arena. <laughs> Plus three. So they can match your deposit up to 100%. That's three. But I mean, but we talked about this earlier. But from a vocal standpoint, you talk about leading by example. But at some point, and you guys are fucking NBA players, so if I'm wrong, tell me, you know, to shut up. But you need a guy who can lead by example, like a guy who can watch somebody like Gil. Damn, his ass is always in the gym. I need to get my ass in the gym. But also somebody to be like, yo, get your ass in the gym. You know what I mean? So here, I got here. This is is LeBron a leader? I feel like LeBron has been, for the most part, other than maybe his first couple of seasons, the leader on every team he's went to, for better or worse. Sometimes that's led to championships. Sometimes that's created tension. Like, okay, so I'm, a, okay, so there's a player. I'm not going to say his name. There's a player who wanted to be traded, but because he said, "Man, I want to do my own thing. I don't like that we go to lunch together, we go to dinner together, we go to movies together." Like, I'm my own man. Why am I doing all this team shit, mm -hmm. right? And he didn't want to follow LeBron because LeBron was trying to build team. Mm -hmm. Dinners, lunch, right? Everything, we're going to do it as a team. And his one player, young player, did not like the concept of being around his teammates like that. So in his eyes, he wouldn't look at that man as a leader. Right. Did this player soil LeBron's legacy? <laughs> Bye. Going to another team, right where the going got tough. God, don't say. I mean, no, 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 that's no, 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 the players on. A, I mean, the players on. A, no, no, the players is he still on, on the NBA. Yeah, he's on. Oh, the we. NBA. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah. Does this player have a new shoe deal? Does he have a new shoe deal, and that he's part owner of? <laughs> Baller kicks. In Dallas. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Is this I, I this a is a Laker. This is a Laker. Okay. okay. Can this I ask is a Laker. Laker. Okay. Laker. This can is I, a Laker. Can I ask a question? This is one of the Laker young players. Can I ask a question? Oh, like, are we allowed to, like, agree to disagree to say, like, you have your point and I have my point? Is, so, that, is that cool? Why is that yeah, a question? No, sometimes... Like, is that cool? No, sometimes I'm wording something different, and I think you think I'm going against you, and you already are combating it, not realizing I'm I, saying the same thing, just different. I, if I'm in the middle of a point, making a point, and you come in to interject to say, nah, I think it's this, right? That means that I'm, I'm in the middle of giving my perspective, uh -huh. right? And you disagree with it. What did I disagree with? I, I don't know what you disagree you with, didn't. but you went into your whole spill. <laughs> How you did you say I'm disagreeing? Because you, you went in, look, disagree. because you just went into a whole spill about well, based on your theory, anybody can be a. But that wasn't my point. That was the point of leadership. My that point is I have a different perspective on leadership than you do. Okay. That's the point. But it's then I make a point, and then you agree with the point. You because you have a point, Gilbert. You have a fair opportunity to prove a point. And I can agree with your point. Okay. You can disagree with mine. But I didn't. But it doesn't matter if you, you, if, you, if you do or don't. It don't matter. But the fact that, all right, I have my point, uh -huh. and you wanted to give your point on top of my point. I'm was, okay with that, my guy. I was But the fact that, it. but you were, trying to dis, you were trying to tell me that, well, based on your, you're wrong. You're wrong based on your Who theory. Said you was wrong. He never he said that there. It's like you're saying the crayon leaders. box only has two crayons. I'm like, no, it comes with actually six more. And I just named the other six. And then you're like, oh yeah, there, there, there's six more. Okay. But you trying to say I'm wrong because I said okay. two? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just I'm but just look, adding the rest of the. You movie. know I'm good at going through the film. And you know I'm do, good. We do that every back. single time. Bring and I get you every single but time. When? How? <laughs> every, I have a whole Devin, clip of you saying the Devin Booker, the Devin saying Booker. things that 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 I have. Proof of Gil, you said this. No, you know, like Rashad, it's like you saying that your confidence is bigger than mine in, in the shooting contest. I never said that. <laughs> yeah, you did say that, Gil, but I have it on the clip. Flex the ring. 
I have it. I have the clip. Let's roll the clips. Okay. Let's roll. I have all the, like, this. it's all on the eye in the sky. Don't lie. Oh, you're talking about shooting. I'm just talking about you're anything. You're talking about just points that anything, you made. Anything that you have said that is like, oh, I didn't say that, we can prove it. Yo, you mean like uh, when you said that the Phoenix Suns getting what's the name to be the point guard, and you said, I told y'all, and then I had to break down the whole clip to show you that you wasn't even for the Suns. You and Brandon Jennings was against the Suns. You were so and competitive. Proved- you were so competitive with that point that when I said I told y'all, I wasn't saying that I told you that I was right, Gilbert. That's what I just I said told I told y'all. Because means then. <laughs> it, it, it means that I said this. I said the similar thing. I didn't say, you didn't oh, say that it. you're wrong. I, I said this and Gilbert didn't say it. I didn't say that. I did. I, I said, did. I, didn't I say that? And he was like, Cat, you must be drunk. Yeah. Bro. I do remember that. Bro. Right? That, am I right? Bro. You must be drunk. He drunk. Bro. We don't listen to drunk people. Bro. And I had to pull out the clip. Bro. Stop. Okay. That's. I guess I'll put it stop. in the chat again. Okay. No, we, 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 we all saw it. Stop. We all saw it. Stop. stop. I'm just... I'm just we are getting along. Stop. I just like that... I thought we all united after the Montgomery just, River front. Bro. Stop. It just feels good for another NBA player this to just, say... That there's multiple ways to leave because since I didn't play in the NBA, my opinion is not valid. I'm not allowed to speak on leadership because I didn't play in the National Basketball Association or the Women's National Basketball Association. Somebody's in their fucking feelings. No, you are. God damn, you I didn't are. even say all that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't even say all that. You what the fuck? Said, you just said all this on your own. You literally said that I, about I didn't you. say any of that. You said that I didn't play in the NBA. I said you given a, a, an opinion based on a perspective. Yeah, and you said in that yours, you didn't, I didn't play at the level you played or where you played, so I can't. My opinion isn't valid because I never said none of that. We'll roll the tape back. We'll roll the tape back later. I'll throw it in the chat. You literally said there's people DMing me right now. We, I would can, read these DMs. Can we hug but after the show? I don't want to hurt your feelings. What's the, can uh, we hug after the show? We can hug. Let's talk about me and Rashad. We we good. This is just a healthy debate, right? Look. <laughs> can, can men hug? He, you know? Boy. Men can't cry. This one right here, he, he is sensitive. Men are not allowed to cry, but can we all hug it up? <laughs> or just that? When is your birthday? I thought I was in the middle of this one. I was a little bit, a no, little bit. You're on my side. I, I was you're in the, on the middle. Right There's side. no size in life. You're on the right side. The side that's correct. I never side with chicks. Gil, shut up. Stop can men that. side with women? Can we ask that? The Stop that. <laughs> you you side with a person, not a chick. A person's talking yeah. about... All, but all very important perspectives. Yeah. And like, at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong way with any of that shit. We talked about it before the show. We knew this was going to go this way. We knew what was <laughs> so, going to go this way. That we were going to have different sides of opinion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we knew, we knew, that. we knew that. So that's why I'm not, I'm not tripping. You are for sure tripping. But there's not even. A, You're definitely tripping. But it's not like, even a tripping definitely. situation. I mean, I think it's all. Perspective. You can't even look I'm me in my good, eye. I'm a good you actor. You can't even everybody. look me I'm in my eye. I'm a great actor because this is this, this doesn't bother me, phase me, or none yeah, of that. Yeah, it does. So it's just one of yeah, these things where Ralph when we get into a spirited conversation, spirited, right? And we get into a spirited conversation. Yo, have me and you ever had any riff on all of the arguments that we've ever had on the <laughs> no, show? No, no. Have we ever, after the show, been like, fuck you, nigga, I don't give a fuck? So have we been in that? No. Have we? No. So we? why are you saying I'm have sensitive? Have we? So why are you saying have I'm sensitive? Have we? No. Yes, we have. How? You. You, you've gotten upset with me and not spoken. I don't get upset with nobody. What are you talking yes, about? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking yes, about? You have, nobody God. gives no fucks yes, about what yes, you got you going have. on. I don't give yes, no fucks. I leave here, have. I go do my thing. I don't. Yes, I don't be thinking have. about you. Yes, what you, you talking about? Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I do not. You booted him out. Bro, I do not. Like how? You kicked me out of the group. I do not tolerate disrespect. That's all. I just don't tolerate disrespect. I got another group chat. <laughs> oh, you're doing shit that no, I'm talking about. No, oh, okay, about to say. Shit. Y'all think it's goat party? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yes, you did. Goat party? What are you talking about? Stop acting like you're not what sensitive. Are you what are you talking about, man? You're very sensitive. That's why I'm... <laughs> Can we keep going? Keep going. Keep going. 
That's let's keep going, yo. Let's keep going, bro. Let's keep going. Hey, can we keep going? Can we keep going? Can we keep going? Let's keep going. Can we go? Can we go? Can we keep going? Can we keep going? Can we keep going? Mostly friends. Can we keep going? Somebody's triggered. Okay, somebody's triggered. Oh, there's a there's a question though. What is the question? Miko, how it has come from uh underdogs there. Miko, uh, what size are your cannons? D. 34 double D. Whoever wrote that, you get $50. And $50, what was it again? Uh, no, what size? 34 double D. 34 double D. Did anybody say that? That's no, not no. a real question. Girl. That's not a real question. Oh, my bad. Whoever writes it right now gets $50. Hurry up. You over here arguing so, like this lets me know you cry. You only fans. Let I mean, this, mostly fans. Mostly, mostly let's let's mostly keep this fans. mostly fan centric. Don't cry every night. Let's let's end the beef. Increase I think, the I think pace. He goes to the gym. Shoot. He goes twenty four hours. Finish and play. After he cries. Let's be a family again. <laughs> Gills Arena presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. I'm still woo, woo. cool with him. I hope he's still cool with me. No beef on this show. It's no beef. Most, do, 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 do. Mostly fans. Mostly right. fans. First question. Uh, his U UDF tag is Yankee next door. Then we uh, we already gave him some money, but shit, you're going to keep winning. Uh, what former NBA player would you fight in a celebrity boxing match? A fight? Ooh. Nick? I will fight... Who's white? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to win. <laughs> what? I want to win. Like a... Yo! What am I supposed to say? I'm supposed to say somebody that? No, I'm. Um, <laughs> it's in honor of the bra. You know, my, my like Dan Dickow, you know, maybe one of the Miami, one of the Miami boys. You said Dan Dickow? I mean, one of them, you know, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> Kyle Corver, you know, somebody I know I can get a little easy to win. <laughs> what are we doing here? John Stockton? No, Hurdy Feisty. And he's in shape. Man, I, I told you I'm trying to fight somebody like easy win, like round five, ten, six, one, white. It was Bob Cousy's oh. birthday. Bob Cousy. <laughs> now. Right now? What? Bob Cousy, 95? God damn, that's a... What? Easy win for me. <laughs> he got Bob Cousy. Old, old man tackle. Cousy's 95? Oh, man. Congrats, Cousy. Bob Cousy. Cousy but hey, everybody not. clowns Bob Cousy, but Bob Cousy was cooking back in the day. He had Negro tendencies on the court. Oh. When everybody else was just doing this, so he's gonna fight he over crossed it over. For the win, they said celebrity. Like, why would I take an L? Uh, why, why? I know you don't want to take no Ls. I know you don't like them. Yeah, so I'm gonna fight somebody I know I can win. I actually, uh... It's, it's getting tense. It's not a player, but more of a sports journalist thing. I, I challenged Sage Steele to a celebrity boxing match. You did? Ago. Yeah, she didn't want the... She, didn't, she wanted no smoke? She wrote a four-page letter that was di literally talking to me, but not addressed to me. I was I was killing What'd her she do? on Twitter. I she it was just a whole moment of her just not really standing in her blackness and she was just saying a whole bunch of shit as if she wasn't a black woman. And then she started talking about how she was so grateful that her white husband chose her, like that he that he even chose a black woman. As if like that's not the prize. The black woman isn't the prize. We are the queen of the world. And she acted like like this, this white man choosing her, like she couldn't believe it. Like he actually chose a black woman, and I really was offended by that. So I went out. We had a little back and forth on okay. Twitter or whatever, and, and I, I actually challenged her to a celebrity. And she said she wanted no. She, no. Didn't, she didn't respond to it. That part of it. She Say so if you're watching Gills Arena. And then somebody showed me that they Googled me on, on and and when they Googled me, her picture shows up as Miko Grimes, and that really pissed me off. Do you feel like she did that? I don't oh, know. Oh, no. Somebody on the internet. pissed me off. Made me want to punch her in her face. I don't even know who she's talking about. You know who Sage Steele is? No. Okay. What she do? I don't... She's a sports reporter. ESPN. Yeah. If you fought Bob Cousy and he got the best of you, would you cry? <laughs> yeah, I'd be done. Okay. That's, you cry? 95-year-old man beat me? Oh, yeah, I'm done. Oh, man, tag I'm done. I'm out of here. Your there. kids are never going to look at you the same. I'm never going to look at me the same. So who, who are you fighting in a celebrity boxing match? Mm. Me go cry. Boy. <laughs> hey, that would have been funny as hell. <laughs> that motherfucker run across from me. <laughs> mm. Ladies and gentlemen, he, we may be back next he, week, he we may not. Brent Grimes, though. I got my money yeah, on Brent. Brent ass. <sighs> We're not starting, no. Mm. We got the cuffs. 
Uh, probably stack. It's like five? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'll pay, pay money for that. I'll pay money for that. I'll ask stack for, you know, the fake, because he said he'd been boxing. He been doing his thing in the box. All, all friendly, y'all don't got no beef, no. Right? No, fuck yeah, no. Like no, Stack came on the show, no. everything. Hell no, that's my nigga. Hey, no. we got underdog to put that on. In no, Vegas, but he said he said he'd been in the he been in the he been in the ring training. You know what I'm saying? And I've always wanted to to get in the ring with what Le'Veon Bell and all the really? guys. Yeah. Just, Have you ever been approached for any of that type of shit? Uh, Fight TV did some shit. They asked one time, but we couldn't get nothing together. Um, but even like when Nick Young was doing the shit, all those guys, I wanted to get in the mix with that shit. But what? I actually, uh, Kendall Gill has been trying to... He do some different. He's on some MMA. No, but no, no, but he, he wanted to box, but nobody wants to give him a chance. Yeah, because he can really, he he really that do that ass. shit. He's 50, man. He still do it, though. Matter. Kendall Gill. Yeah. Stack, Stack 5 would be uh, a tough, tough, formidable opponent. Hood unification belt. Absolutely. All right, so question number two. We got we to gotta shame this human being for not having an a underdog username. <laughs> But having a great handle is Hibachi Liberace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what organization's got the best group of players who are dogs? When you look around the league right now, what team has the most dogs on it? Miami. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Miami. <laughs> Confidence coffee. Makes sense. Well, it makes well, sense. Yeah. Yeah. We, do we all agree on something? I, I agree. Do we all just become best friends again? Best friends! <laughs> Yo, why y'all why y'all be hyping this shit? Y'all like, 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 be doing this shit that's unnecessary and making I'm it not seem trying to, like it's something and it's not like I don't give a fuck have, about none of this shit. Yes, we're on these nice like, leathers. I don't give yes, a fuck, do. yo. But we're on these nice you leathers. Didn't give a, God you damn. Said, Yay, we're best friends again. I don't have to say none yeah, of that, that shit. You're I don't have to say we best friends and none of that shit. And I actually don't have to like you to work with you. I don't have to do none of that shit. Like I actually do I'm a professional. And I'm a you gentleman. Don't have to like me. And I don't mind you. I actually, I actually fuck with your personality I, and everything. I so enjoy listen. You as well. But you, you just, you just keep I, going. Like no, stop. Because I don't have to agree. Just Damn. Like, you know, we get it. You don't like, agree. So mean? stop. Like it's this point where we can like. Eh. All right. No more. But you keep, say that. But you keep going. When I disagree with you. Why didn't you say? Well, she agreed to disagree. I don't have. I, I just shut up. I just. No, you uh, did it. You start. But you still going. NBA. Look how right. you're still going. You All right. Say, well, we gotta. We gotta to move on. Um, because Gil, you you're can't still shoot out going me. even right now. The, the chat is spoken. What, what was the date? Was that for? They said Sizzler. Wait. What happened? There's a Sizzler in Chatsworth. What's it? Wait. What? I've been meaning to hit. Remember, Sizzler used to be I the used shit. To work there. It used to be the shit. Eight different food bars, like pasta stack there. shit, but then they consolidated. That's just I capitalism in a nutshell, brother. But we'll go to question number three. Are we all agreed on Miami for number two? Yes. So, question number three this comes from his under our username is Beyonce's nephew. Okay. <laughs> who, who is a sneaky good team to watch out for next year? Sneaky good team. Ooh. Sneaky good. I mean, you can go with Sack still, right? Uh, I would say the king. They're not sneaky. They're Are they, that's, they can't be nigga, sneaky. Nigga, I just they said three, Sack. The three seed, oh, right? You can't be sneaky as that's a... Just a this, that's what I said. I said you could say because they're young. I, I want to try OKC. I was thinking. Ooh. I was thinking Orlando. Orlando. They, they get uh, Orlando. Ch uh, Chet back. I feel like Orlando's Orlando, like a year or two away. OKC... If with SGA, Chet now? I'm saying OKC now with SGA making that leap, Giddy, like that crew. <laughs> And they bring one more in there. Yeah. I don't know though. Like they they similar to Orlando, Houston. Like they got a. But they got the two vests. Love them. They got the two vests that they paid. Yeah. I don't know. It might change. But they not they scoring. Cool. Like SGA is a thirty a point thirty yeah, yeah. point a night. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Giddy is a triple double. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they got a couple guys that can was deliver. Fun, night. They was fun watching them. But, but then uh, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago started out good, right? Then they kind of dipped. Where is that? He ain't been the same since uh, Zoe. He got that ball going through. Dang, I miss him. Shout out Lonzo Ball, man. We praying uh, for you, dog. We want you to get back on the court. Fuck, man. That's a player yeah, that. That's sad. We praying for you. One of them, sneaky young, one of them sneaky young teams. Miko, how about yourself? Who are you rolling with? Um, I, would, I would say Sacramento Kings. Same thing. I, I, um, Sacramento is like one of like remember back in the day how they had that run and they were real good and they just kind of fell off and I feel like that's part of the reason that nobody even like watched them like even the playoffs 
they were playing really good basketball mm. all year, and people were like, ah, they're not going to do that. Ah, you know, just kind of throwing them away. Yeah. And I think that that's going to happen again this year. And maybe they won't run into... I mean, I feel like we were watching them to see if, if they would dethrone that Warrior squad, yeah. even though they were the sixth seed. But then LeBron did, so. Yeah, that's what I said. Maybe they to be expected. The to go another route. <laughs> 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 then what happened after that? <laughs> what happened? We was riding that? so high after that shit. Mm -mm -mm. The Joker came in, did him like Apollo Creed. Good times. Cavs. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but is, is um sneaky is, is um Spider is he staying? So far. I thought he was like low key saying he wanted out of there. Mm. They actually the most sneakiest. They the sneakiest. They could be, yeah. All right. So question number four. So there's rumors right now that uh, he won't resign with the Cavs, but he's there as of right now. Right. And the Cavs know it. And no disrespect to Cleveland, not a terrible city. But what? Just, what? Not a terrible city. Yes, Cleveland is a what? It's actually Yo, awful. We already had Detroit <laughs> in our sights. I'm just trying to say somebody's thing. Not an awful city. Work on the transit. More what? Ubers, please. Not More as Ubers. As, not as Cleveland. Detroit's better than Cleveland. What? Yeah. Okay, 30 and 29. Okay, it's, it's still shit. Oh. All right. Better. Uh, okay. Better. <laughs> you know, but the good thing about Cleveland, underdog fantasy, legal there. So Y'all can get down on it. Cleveland, work on the transit, though. More Ubers, okay? We came for All-Star. Oh, God. You know, we had a, a, a makeshift de facto and, camp driving us around. Did. That was a cold, cold All-Star. But you should never have an All-Star on those those up north, Midwest. But, but nobody wants yeah. to go there, so that's a chance for the uh, the NBA to put money into that city. That's and that's why fine. It's always, that's why it's always in. in cities like that. But we need more better. We need Ubers, okay? It can't be 15 minutes on the wait time. Damn. <laughs> I'm centrally located near all the shit, but it's too cold to walk to. But last question, uh, this is from... They're giving out money. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, we, we okay. running underdog's pockets. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Wham. Shout out Jeremy Levine. He came through today. Let him know what it was. Y'all not going to thwart us, Busters. All these other big brands out there trying to hate. We coming for y'all. And we're standing on all your shows. <laughs> uh, this is from Yo Cell. said, who is the best role player ever? Best role player? Role player. Wait, role player, role player, role player. Like, you could still be a starter and be a role player, right? So this can't be a number two player, right? That's a Robin uh, still. A, well, right, a rope. Can't, is it, we have to define role player first. That's yeah, not, not the star player. But the anybody role, beyond not the star player is the So Kobe. Kobe was a role player at one point. With Shaq? I mean, yeah, I mean that's Kobe. what I'm saying. Are we going to use that? Are we going to use that? Were saying. they the star players? Oh, now it's they. We're using pronouns. Okay, so all stars not role players. Okay. So all stars not star, so Scotty Pippen. Like a Bruce star Bowen play, type star player. Oh, okay, okay. So Bruce. That's okay, what I would okay, say. Okay, like, okay, yeah. okay, so like your fourth, fifth best player. But yeah, but a guy even as that fourth, fifth best player, like Robert Ory, plays role. Well, my favorite was Ginobili. Six man, you're yeah. six man. Okay. Which is wild. Ginobili, Hall of Famer, wait, wait, so, playing a role. Okay, so would Draymond Green be considered a role player? He's a he's an awesome. Or Iguodala. He's an awesome. So Iguodala. Oh, Iguodala, yeah. All right, all right, so now we know the criteria. Okay, okay kind of. So. We just makeshifted it, but. Um, will Lamar Odom be a role player? Ooh. Absolutely. I'm aware, but yeah. Lamar, oh. Okay. Damn. Lou Williams. So that's Lou Williams. That would be, um, can't be Jamal, Ginobili. Jamal All -Star. Crawford. Jamal Crawford. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Lou Young. Jason Terry. You know I mean? Lou Will. Lou Will. Lou Will. Damn. Yeah. I would, then I would give it, the, if those guys are allowed, then individually, then I would say probably Jamal Crawford. The question was, who's the best? Yeah, role player ever. Best mean. Ever. Ever is like, not, not, not by too far. far. I, I, not but but far. the best as far as, like, like, skill? That's, uh, yeah, they like, left what is like, broad. like, best as far as the doing role? Their role? Doing their ro the best at their role? Yeah, I would say, who's, about, who's the best about, at their role? Um, what's the dude's name? That, the loud one, the cra uh, What is his name? He played for Detroit. He played for the Clippers. He has a podcast. Pat oh. oh, Pat Bev. Yes. But then, but see, he would lose to guys who average 20 something okay. as role players. But so his I'm gonna go role was to be a heckler, to harass, to play, you know what I mean? Like, he did a great job at his job. I'm gonna as go Jamal. It's me or Lou Williams or Jamal Crawford. I'm going Robert. I would say Crawford. <laughs> Big shot, Bob. Yes, we picking those three. Robert Ory. That's, that's a, you know, we have to talk in depth about him and his career. That's so. a role, as far as the role and delivering and helping. Yeah, Bucky. consistently. Shout out to Big Shot Bob.
Come on the podcast. We know you're somewhere. This, 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 you can't, this one you can't really get wrong. Nah, it's, it's a preference. It's definitely not a wrong answer. Uh, Which role play y'all think cried the most? Cried? <laughs> cried? <laughs> I'm going to shed a stuck tear just... You know one of my favorite old school role players was B.J. Armstrong? You Legend. guys remember him? Mm-hmm. You know B.J.? Yes, he was, he was... I used to really like him. B.J. was he solid. He came in and did, his, did what he was supposed to do. He was all-star. Was it? No. No. I don't think so. But this has been another all-star show. Yes. Well, we appreciate y'all pulling up to Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, 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 whoop. We will see y'all tomorrow. Hey, I'm going to do some editing on them two right here. Woo! We good, Rashad? With the honor, the greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius who do what